so I don't know why I can't. Like, why you guys can't hear it? Hello. It's perfect. Hello. You know, I just I'm just using my regular microphone now. This is just my regular microphone. One second. Let's get rid of the ASMR mic. Chat, I can literally hear everything just fine on my end. I don't understand. What the fuck? I I chat chat I you you still cannot hear anything? Well, you're fucking lying. You're literally fucking lying. You have to be fucking lying. YouTube hates ASMR. We can hear now. Yeah, you can fucking hear. And volume all the way up. I still can't hear. Shut the fuck up, Maddie. Thank you for the two dollars though. Loki, Chomusuke, thank you for the coming big pee pee. Meta, thank you for the five dollars. Way too loud. Lima, thank you for the three thirty three. And before Radio Pirates hijack extreme and start finally am. He's not done. Thank you for the two dollars. Chat, I don't know. Puedo escuchar que está pasando. And my document, thank you for the hundred dollars. Louder. Alphonse, my Toro Leon, thank you for the A little filler for the tip cup. Good to see you, thank you. Oh, wow, wow, thank you for 50 Mexicans. Speak louder, I can't see you. So the time, thank you for two dollars. Always work perfectly until you stream. No, it literally was working perfectly while I was streaming, which is why I'm not entirely convinced that you guys aren't just fucking with me right now. Literally, all the audio was gone, even the PGM track, and I thank you for the five dollars. Gondola, thank you for becoming a big pee pee. Do you think it might have been connected incorrectly? But I can hear it. If I can hear it, then how is it plugged in incorrectly? 100% we could not hear. And I promise just replay the VOD. What the fuck? His smart mic was clout quieter than a mouse. I can't believe she was. I just. Chat, I don't fucking understand. You weren't muted, you were incredibly quiet. See, I could hear it loud and clear on my end. I could hear it loud and clear on my end. Mm. So I don't understand. I could hear you be- It makes me wonder if maybe I should like... Capture it through... Like desktop capture or something. I could barely even hear your muffled screams. I- I was yelling so loud. Ah. Like, you guys see this on screen? Right. You screwed up the setup for output. It's literally the same as this microphone. This is literally the same. Your output is set to negative. What do you mean? It's a chat that is output capture that is desktop audio. If you don't know what you're talking about, then shut the fuck up. I need the mic to for the two dollars. Everything deja vu. We can't hear you. Background noise. Even two dollars. Here's some cash to help with the range, Pippa. But thank you. Chat. I made a. It's a negative chat. Chat. That is a fucking background noise. You actual fucking mongoloids. You actual fucking mongoloids. That's the fucking background. That's the desktop capture. That's not the fucking ASMR microphone. You fucking idiots. Can I get name of the $5? I don't know what I'm talking about. No, I'm just to shut up. Thank you for the $5, man. You're just like Twitter. You're just like Twitter. Okay, so here's some scuff. EGM, eat the mic so we can hear the full voice. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Let's see if, um, God, streaming for 12 years, Pippa. Who has been streaming for 12 years? If 
you have been streaming for 12 years. That's amazing. Just speak about your ever again. Fuck you. Fuck you, man. Let me turn the microphone up even more. Hold on. I'll just keep turning up. I guess this is just gonna be whispering into a generic microphone. Actually, my microphone's pretty fucking expensive, so, um, yeah. My microphone is pretty expensive, so maybe it's not that bad. Oh, there's a background. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. Did you hear Pippa? Did you hear ASMR? My cabin of power. Chat, I could fucking hear it just fine. I don't know why you guys can't hear it just fine. I was monitoring it through OBS. I was monitoring it through OBS, so it doesn't make any fucking sense that you guys could not hear it. I literally practiced for so fucking long, making sure the audio levels were right. You sound like you're a 60-year-old smoker. Oh my god. Comrade Snake, thank you for the $2 pepper off. Wicked Bar, thank you for the $3 first installment for my 3 million pledge. <laughs> I use them interchangeably. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pippa. I even prepared props. Man. I fucking prepared props. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> No point. 
mind and being envious of what others have that you don't. Stop it. Live just the way you are. Chat what sounds better, whispering like this. <laughs> or gently talking. Do you guys like gently talking? Or do you like whispering? Gently talking. Okay, we can do gently talking. You prefer silence than click off the stream where you talk, mother- sorry. Hug me, Anon. All polkas are equally on the same footing. And for that reason, we should still respect each other. If you eat tomatoes, maracas will ring, and the sound of soda will enrich your life. So the binary system should be incorporated. Thank you, Amaru Polka. Very based. Digitized data can be altered, fabricated, falsified. No intelligent person should trust it. What can you say during sex, but also at a family dinner? Could I get some more cream on this? Look at you, kiddo. There's cream all over your face. Ew. I didn't know there, would, there was chocolate in this. Who wants cream pie? Alright, one more. Stop pulling mommy's hair. Kenny D, thank you for the $10 comfy, but why is your chat so smooth brain? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. You know, my analytics show that I share a large audience with Asmongold, but sometimes I think maybe I got XQC's chat. Therapy is a lot like video games. My therapist explains to me, you can't expect results without putting in the work. I can't help but shake my head in disappointment. This bitch has no idea about my natural talent. Gaming. 12 foot, 3.58 p.m. PT. Giantess anime girl feet, anime girl feet fitting in house, you're playing video games and giantess anime girl feet squish you splatter against giantess anime girl feet. I want Pippa to look at me like this while she makes me come with her feet. Imagine the pure look of disdain while she is secretly very much into it, giving into her sexual desire and furiously moving her slender porcelain legs. You would be able to see a puddle of her lovely juices for <laughs> beneath her satiating your desires. Maybe she gets off to the idea of your prostate burning hot while the only thing of sexual interest to you that swirls around in your head all day. Now, is her cute feet. <laughs> maybe she wants you in this perpetual state of agony, Anon. Maybe. Just maybe. Also, Peppa now has a fast enough chat that member streams are more, war more than warranted. I think she should start off with streams where she talks about her feet in detail, going over her size, her arch depth, and scent along with putting her new ASMR mic down by her feet and using it as a footrest. Nothing overly sexual, light teasing at most, in the style of say, uh oh Anon, I've got your ears between my toes, what are you gonna do? Keep it fairly casual, the why would you get off to this vibe makes it all the better. More of an extreme but a wholly welcomed one would be a foot cam at times. As much as it would be appreciated, I understand if there's no bare skin. 
so thin stockings would suffice, provided everything is well lit. Spreading your toes in the light there should be a clear distinction between what's stocking and what are your adorable toes. Another suggestion would be painting your toes th themed for special occasions, subscriber milestones, anniversaries, etc. And posting pictures, but making sure to provide a proper download link as YouTube's embedding can be annoying to extract from. Thanks for reading. Here's to an exciting future of you making me come with your feet. Tips. Kanye Gang, thank you for the $10. Zena, thank you for the $2. Jack and I, thank you for becoming a big peepee. -pee. I think we lost some viewers. Understandable. <laughs> the one true magic girl, thank you for the $5. Hey, Lois, I just finished getting a mana transfer from Maj here. Pretty effing pockers, I tell you. Highly and juggler, thank you for $2. Destroy all humans to co op with Tenma Wen. Oh. Zach, thank you for the five dollars. Who's out here putting me on blast? Please stop publicly sharing my thoughts. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Zach. You got you got posted on Twitter. I'll, I'll come back to this one. This is the most insane Twitter thread I have ever read. Legit insane. Every time I go to a mall, I find the Cheesecake Factory and sit down, and the waiter says, Hey, can I get you something to drink? And every time I say, I'll suck your cock for an iced tea. And every time I'm thrown out, except one time in Phoenix when they brought me an iced tea. I'll admit this is a strange personal joke, haha. <laughs> I've just always thought it was really funny for a man eating alone at the Cheesecake Factory to ask for an iced tea from a male waiter and then weirdly to offer to suck his dick. I didn't know why I apologized for this. It is genuinely funny. The Jaeger, thank you for the five dollars. Pippa, wow! If any of these waiters had ever deal, ever have ever said deal, I would have told them what I tell every man I've ever let on in a gay club. Hehe, <laughs> dum dum. I'm straight and only have sex with girls. In so far as I like to have sex, at which is not often. I once led Brian Singer on in a gay bar, and he took me home while I told him how much I loved his work. And then he got handsy and I said, buddy, I'm straight. And he apparently has a bad reputation, but to me that night he said, oh I understand, and he ha and had his limo take me home. According to a lot of good reporting, I trust he is not a great character. But in my personal experience, he acted like a total gentleman. I also once was rejected by Kevin Spacey after he molested my brother. That sentence sounds weird. I'm pretty sure Matt Welch wrote a post in Reason exposing it. Lol. Explaining. My brother had called me and said I was molested by Kevin Spacey and I was like, you're not attractive enough to be molested by a movie star and I flew from LA to London to disprove what I thought was his lie. I met Kevin and ran my fingers down his cheek and said, love your work. And he grabbed my hand and kissed it and said, you're sweet. And then walked away and his friend walked up to me and smiled and said, You're too old for him. I was 21. I called my 18 year old brother that night and apologized. Oh my god, I'm sorry I didn't believe my brother about getting molested by a movie star when it first happened. This was 2008. Shit was different. I literally flew halfway across the world to investigate it myself and ended up believing him and apologizing. Cry about it, loser. My mom told me a story today about an actor who was still a movie star who she knew before she met my dad, 70s, and how he asked to be set up on a date with her friend and then beat mom's friend up. And my mom said, don't tweet his name because Twitter is nuts. Do you guys want another thread from this guy? <laughs> Whenever my dog is prescribed painkillers, I always take some myself because fuck them. That's why. But people are like crazy to steal dog pills. But recently my brother started being prescribed a new antidepressant that is literally a nerve pain pill one of our dogs needs. And it's so funny to tease him about like, well, you all said it was not okay for a human to take dog pills. Mm. Well, I'm sure everyone is handling this one well. I could go for some dog painkillers right now to be honest. I wish one of them had recently had surgery. 
talking to a vet on the phone. Yeah, the dog is recovering well. Dog is perfectly recovered, walking around happily. But he's still in some pain, I think. Might want to call in a refill. The other time it's fun to steal from your dog is when the vet prescribes some doggy Valium for a flight because you... K... C A Whatever. Then just give them melatonin and keep the Valium for yourself. The secret to have a really... The secret is to have a really huge dog that weighs a ton so they prescribe you a dose that you'll feel. You'll have to fatten up your dog like it's a hog, give it protein powder and stuff. Clearly this is the best day of some more experience. Well, um, thank you for the five dollars. Drew CC, thank you for the ten dollars. Pipsqueak, can I get a good night and head pat, please? And with the pro strats. Yeah, hey, well, Mal, thank you for the 420. Dog pill, yeah. Is this chaotic neutral or chaotic evil? Dude, I'm gonna type as sober as possible. That honestly looks fucking pathetic and disgusting compared to my cat. And I'm just being 100% serious. Sorry we don't feed shit that was previously in cans. You're a fucking joke, dude. And I'm dead fucking serious. Get a real family that owns good cats. Drink beer and wine and wine coolers and has a good fucking time. And has a million dollar house on the beach. I'm serious. Don't ever post your fucking poverty cat on this board ever the fuck again, bro. And by bro, and I'm, bro I mean never my bro fucking fan -pee. Good night, Hulk maniacs and jabroni marks without a life that don't know how it a work. That don't know it a work when you work a work and work yourself into a shoot marks. Jim from the office is one of the most insidious cultural entities I can think of. I've started and restarted typing like five threads trying to explain this. It is understood. That he is the audience surrogate, maintaining an ironic and level-headed distance from the plot. He reacts with you, you rarely react at him, while, he, while also showing enough moral character to be admired. The viewer sees their position as a spectator mirrored in Jim's. Naively, this is a function of the Jim stare. The camera snap zooms in and the eye contact floods the screen. You stare at him and he stares back, a symmetry that lifts him onto the viewer's plane, or vice versa. An exchange of glances between friends in an awkward moment. But what does it mean to exchange this glance with your own A surrogate and B role model? What does it mean to project yourself into a man always staring at a camera? In a real documentary, these glances would be shared with the camera crew. Jim stares directly into the lens. In real life, an exchange of glances with a friend like this is a mutual affirmation. You are not alone in your reaction right now, even if we can't express it at the moment. It is an escape from inflicted isolation through seeing and being seen. Jim escapes into the camera, not an equal to which he can relate, but a recording device which represents a possibility of any number of future observers through which he will be seen. The glance becomes staggered across time, and on Jim's end there is only being seen, not seeing. No, there isn't even that. Jim can only imagine the future observers. He imagines himself being seen. He is promising himself that he will be seen in a relatable light. The idea that the circuit will someday be completed is what reassures him, what affirms his being. This is the insecurity, the narcissism, the solipsism of the Jim stare. He escapes into his own image as he imagines it to be received by a future aggregate from the inert viewpoint of the lens, and this is portrayed as relatable and almost even desirable behavior. Lord Awakening, thank you for the $20. Did I take my meds today? Did you take your meds today? Jim is the audience surrogate for us, but the camera is the audience surrogate for Jim. He is lost in himself and has no idea. He is far and away the most fucked up psycho in that building. As a character, Michael is far better off than Jim. When he performs for the camera, he understands what he is doing. Jim never did. Look at us now. This is what we are doing today. And if you're not careful, you fall for it and your camera becomes far more than a camera. Jim staring all the time. TikTok, Instagram stories, endless eye contact with a hallucination of an audience that won't exist until you've already hit send. Needing to see and be seen in unison, and you can settle for just staring at yourself. Through a thick layer of obfuscation. Sharing, share a glance with your friends across the camera. Just like cool Jim guy. 
Ladies, buy the best bullets for your gun at AmmunitionDepot.com. Puzzle, thank you for becoming a big peepee. -pee. <laughs> and this is how we end the culture war by having a woke and a based version of every product. You can watch woke Batman where he's married to Alfred, or based Batman where he drops hard R's on the penguin. What's something you can say during sex, but also in office meetings? Pass the stapler. I hope Epstein made videos. There have been suggestions that Epstein made secret videos of all the men who had sex in his houses and planes. I hope he did, and they are all revealed. Because they will prove I am not among them. I hereby waive any right of privacy in Epstein videos. I did read over this one. I don't- I, I- I think it's safe. I think it's safe. Oh well, if it's not safe, I'll just delete the part. <laughs> I want Suisei to be my girl boyfriend. <laughs> Bold strategy, Cotton. Yeah, we'll see how it plays out. Acid Yoro, thank you for killing a big pee, -pee. It's safe, alright. I'm trusting you. I'm taking your word for it. I swear, I want Suisei to di dominate me, to make me her bitch. I want to become a manlet twink, and want her to be a foot taller than me with a big food cock. I want her to drag me around whenever she sets her mind on something. I want her to protect me. I want her to praise me. I want to be her good boy. I want her to hold me when I'm scared. To others, she'll be a Tsuyo Ona, but to me, she'll be kind and caring. In private, I'd be her little cum toilet. Her conceptical, ready to relieve her of her load at any and every moment. Day after day, I'd let her destroy my bussy. Fill me to the brim with her stardust in every orifice. I want her to do it so much, my diet would be 50% sweet gum. And when I have the need, I want her to take care of me too. Just the thought of laying in her arms, writhing and whimpering as she makes me come, makes me melt and cry. This isn't even completely a joke or 100% a shitpost. I'm being only really semi-ironic here. The idea of this cool, strong-willed woman caring for me and dominating me will haunt me forever. It lays there a gaping hole in my heart. And knowing that she gets all dorky and doting whenever she sees something cute makes me want to become her shonen, her little Akutan. Knowing what she's like, I bet she would like a submissive guy. In that sense, most of this could kinda happen, but she'll never date a fan anyways, so fuck my life. <laughs> Why is Adderall making me boring? I thought it was supposed to get more fun, but no, I've just been acting boring and serious. What's the deal with that? When I was in elementary school, they put me on Adderall. My grades got better, and I stopped getting in trouble, but my dad said that I started acting like a businessman, so he had me taken off of it. IRO vs VTuber Booba had to join in on the trend. You cut power. The only reason girls like camping is because it reminds them of being abducted and transported through foreign territory by an en enemy tribe. Continue to pray to Yellowstone. Concentrate on the magma chamber. We can end it here. We can end it for all time. Retweet if Segabot is the only thing keeping you from resurrecting a corpse right now. 
People who post this are the type of people who think misspelled fast food logos and dated vines are funny. You wouldn't survive a con lobby. Yeah, man, I have a really dark humor. Racism. Hug me, Anon. Did you know, the human anus can stretch up to 7 inches before taking damage. A raccoon can squeeze into holes as tight as 4 inches, meaning you can take almost two full raccoons up your ass. I love to put on a gas mask and carry around a box on which is painted COVID with a military stencil. I walk around and open and close the box periodically. When people demand I remove my mask, I'm wearing black face. Twitter, tell me something random about a person you love that makes you smile every time you think of it. Mine is that whenever my husband sees a dragonfly, he watches in amazement and says in a tone of respect, They're such accomplished flyers. Mine is when my mom died, five years ago. I woke up in the middle of the night to find my son, aged eight, sitting on my bed, watching me. I asked if he was okay and he said, I'm staying awake in case you wake up really sad and need an emergency hug from me. Just reading this NTSB report on a fatal helicopter crash. Sound of laughter. What's that? We had like five Bloody Marys before we even. Yeah, yeah. I am. I am. I'm a little twisted. Had had some liquid courage. Ha 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 ha. He's pumped, you guys. I'm Rick twisted. Anyone say Rick and Morty? Ha 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 ha. Get swifty! <laughs> God. This under your arm. Now that's gonna be stuck in my head, thanks. Oh, I can beep. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, get swifty. Hey, thanks. Here we go. Nice. Get that. The sign is a subtle joke. The shop is called Sneed's Feed and Seed, where feed and seed both end in the sound Eed, thus rhyming with the name of the owner, Sneed. The sign says that the shop was formerly Chuck's, implying that the two words beginning with F and S would... Wow! Child erotic! Child's belly and chest erotic! Having watched the Madison Cawthorn tape, I will say that I don't think it's actually it. I don't think it actually is necess necessarily a gay tape. This looks to me like the type of homoerotic hazing humor boroughs do when they put dicks on each other's faces while the other one is asleep. Oh man, he just keeps going. just keeps going. Do we read out the rest of it? <gasps> Who the fuck is Ben? <laughs> Do it. Please no. I once went to a f fabulous con- what is fabulous? Concert in Boise, Idaho. And me and a bunch of dudes stayed in a hotel room together. And I woke up to like five of them flapping their dicks at me and giggling at each other. I will also say that the video has indeed convinced me to retract my opinion about him not being invited to my orgies. He seems spry. I've obviously had many a dick placed on my face while I was sleeping. You can't be my age and have gone to high school without having fallen asleep at least a few times at a party and woken up with everyone sharing photos of some dude named Landon or Tyler putting his dick on your face. Half of my memories from 10th grade are just people listening to Sum 41 and putting their dicks on my face. There are so many people named Ned or Colin texting someone right now being like, Oh, remember when you dick-faced me at a warp tour? Want to know a really hilarious but gross adolescent boy story? In middle school, the boys in my class had this game where everyone would play Tetris on the bus, and whoever got the lowest score, the person who got the highest score, would bare-ass them. Bare-assing was farting in their face with their bare ass, and one time this kid did it to the other kid and he started, and he sharted and accidentally pooped on the face of the other, on the, on, on the other kid's face. And for years, that other was called Poop Face. Anyways, boys are weird, and Madison Cawthorn just seems like he has never grown up. 
One of the reasons I enjoyed the Mass and Cawthorn leaks is because it does bring out some weird homophobe- <laughs> One. My dad died. Classic start to a funny story. He was buried in a small village in Sussex. I was really close to my dad, so I visited his grave a lot. I still do. Don't worry, it gets funnier. And I want to talk about politics. I always took flowers, and my mom visited a lot, and she always took flowers, and my grandparents were still alive, and they always took flowers. My dad's grave frequently resembled a solid third place at the Chelsea Flower Show. Nice, but I felt bad, and the guy buried next to my dad, he never had flowers. Died on Christmas Day, age 37. No one left him flowers, and now there's a pop-up florist in the grave next door, so I started buying him flowers. I started buying flowers for a deceased man I'd never met! I did this for quite some time, but I never mentioned it to anyone. I was It was just a little private joke with myself. I was making the world a better place one bunch of flowers at a time. I know it sounded weird, but I came to think of him as a friend. I wondered if there was a hidden connection between us, something secretly drawing me to him. Maybe we went to the same school, played for the same football club or whatever. So I googled his name, and ten seconds later I found him. His wife didn't leave him flowers because he'd f murdered her on Christmas Day. After he murdered his wife, he murdered her parents too. After that, he jumped in front of the only train going through Balcon that night. Balcom tunnel that Christmas night. That was why no one ever left him flowers. No one except me, of course. I left him flowers. I left him flowers every couple of weeks. Every couple of weeks for two and a half years. I felt terrible for his wife and her parents. Now, I wasn't going to leave them flowers every couple of weeks for two and a half years, but I did feel like I owed them some sort of apology. I found out where they were buried, bought flowers, and drove to the cemetery. As I was standing at their graves mumbling apologies, a woman appeared behind me. She wanted to know who I was and why I was leaving flowers for her aunt and grandparents. Awkward. I explained, and she said, that's okay, that's weird, but quite sweet. I said, thanks, yes, it's a bit weird, and oh god, I asked her out for a drink. Incredibly, she said yes. Two years later, she said yes again when I asked her to marry me, because that is how I met my wife. That's pretty fucking weird, dude. That's pretty fucking weird. Wholesome ending. But man, what the fuck? Oh yeah, this shit. Hold on, I gotta zoom in. This is the last time I'm addressing anyone dressed as a small child. So enjoy being blocked and ignored and no more Oh wait, should I read from top? I don't use Twitter. I never had Pulse. I use it only to reply or meme when I'm bored. What about you? Don't comment your lies on my post. You will be blocked. I don't use Twitter. I just post and meme on you mentally ill motherfuckers. I don't scare into paralysis like you fuckers that don't even have a face. I face alt accounts that just follow for follow and are commenting here just for clout. Clout chases for real imagining no racial. Psyops by a bunch of old men dressed as 10 year old anime girls. Get the fuck out. We from the hood where fuckers will get shanked face to face, not some silly internet bullshit. I've never seen such a pathetic community. There is no censorship, I am independent. MK Ultra controlling your brain. A machine should not speak for men, so shut the fuck up, you mindless drone. Learn from the best. Take notes, haters. You have no idea how bad you made yourselves look. If you can't acknowledge the reality of my words, then you're just a stupid motherfucker, lol. By the way, 99% of the avatars I've looked at are ugly, and you should invest your time and money into better art, lol. They are racist too, I imagine. Oh, too, lol, imagine. I came from a torture abuse situation and was homeless for years, don't joke on my personal life. These people who are talking a lot about me don't know anything about me or how much I've grown from the deepest, worst struggles you could ever imagine. I was tortured so much I would be regularly put into the hospital and couldn't use the toilet. I was forced to shit and piss myself and do anything that I could to earn money and eat. Don't talk to me like you know me. You shouldn't even walk a day in my shoes. I know that 100%. Your childish words don't hurt me like the pain of being beaten every day until I- Jesus fucking Christ. I don't do social media because I don't need gratification. <laughs> 
everything I post is for myself. If I'm not happy, <laughs> if I'm not happy with it, I make something better. My content is constantly updated. I don't need Kiki. I don't keep archives because I'm not attached to the past. I love the present and future. Create. <laughs> People are mad, but everyone that is adding me are trying to beg for my clown and attention. 13,000 followers. <laughs> they are follow- wait. Attention literally has no ratio. They are follow for follow accounts with no real friends or fans. I can't take you seriously. You're fucking reaching hard at this point. This is the last time I'm addressing anyone dressed as a small child and enjoying being blocked and ignored and no more clown for you. Thank you, Elizabeth. Very cool. I have never seen a thin person drinking Diet Coke. Yeah, I ran through this. And then there is this. There is the document. I burned through those pretty quickly. I burned... I burned... I just realized I'm hella tilting. <laughs> I'm hella tilting. Also, I've been angry this entire time. I've just been angry this entire time. Oh my god. Is, is, the, is the wibbly wobbly microphone? ASMR. When are you not tilted? I am always tilted. I'm always tilted. What do you mean? I'm literally always tilted. But that's okay, because I have a bunch of coffee pastas to read off. Alrighty. Are you ready for some coffee pastas, Jack? God, this is literally the worst fucking ASMR. <laughs> this is the worst fucking ASMR. Holy shit. Okay, let's move that. Bring that back up. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, these are- these, some people submitted copy pasta. These- I'm only going over submissions. So these aren't- these are all submissions. What the fuck did you just fucking say about me, you little bitch? I'll have you know, I graduated top of my class in the Navy SEALs, and I've been involved in numerous secret raids on Al-Qaeda, and have over 300 confirmed kills. I'm trained in guerrilla warfare, and I'm the top sniper in the entire US Armed Forces. You are nothing to me, but just another target. I will wipe you the fuck out with precision the likes of which has never been seen before on this earth. Mark my fucking words. You think you can get away with saying that shit to me over the internet? Think again, fucker. As we speak, I am contacting my secret network of spies across the USA, and your ID is being traced right now, so you better prepare for, prepare for the storm, maggot. The storm that wipes out the pathetic little thing you call your life. You're fucking dead, kid. I can be anywhere, anytime, and I can kill you in over 700 ways, and that's just with my bare hands. Not only am I extensively trained in unarmed combat, but I have access to the entire arsenal of the United States Marine Corps, and I will use it to its full extent to wipe your miserable ass off the face of the continent, you little shit. If only you could have known what unholy retribution your little clever comment was about to bring down upon you. Maybe you would have held your fucking tongue, but you couldn't. You didn't. And now you're paying the price, you goddamn idiot. I will shit fury all over you and you will drown in it. You're fucking dead, kiddo. I got two of those. There's a few of these that I got two of. Like this one. Oh wait, actually I got four of that one. I got, I got, I got that one four times. Elephant True, from Wikipedia. The free encyclopedia, elephant shrews, also called jumping shrews or sengis, are small, insectivorous mammals native to Africa, belonging to the family Macrocelidae in the order Macrocelidia. Their traditional common English name, elephant shrew, comes from a perceived resemblance between their long noses and the trunk of an elephant. And their superficial similarity with shrews, family Sorcidae, in the order Eulipatophila. Typhla. However, a phylogenic analysis has revealed that elephant shrews are not classified with true shrews, but are in fact more closely related to elephants than shrews. This is really long, I'm not gonna read the whole thing. Not 
the tweet itself, but being dad is iconic. So yesterday, my daughter, 9, was hungry and was doing a jigsaw puzzle, so I said over my shoulder, make some baked beans. She said, how? Like all kids do when they want you to do it. So I said, open a can and put it in the pot. She brought me the can and said, open it how? With a can opener, I said, incredulous. She brought me the can opener and we both stared at it. I realized I never taught her how to use it. Most cans now have pull tops. I felt like a dope. What kind of apocalypse father doesn't teach his kids how to use a manual can opener? So I said, how do you think this works? She studied it and applied it to the top of the can sideways. She struggled for a moment and with a big dramatic sigh said, will you please just open the can? Hmm, apocalypse dad was overjoyed. A teaching moment just dropped in my lap. I said that little, uh, the little device is designed to do one thing, open cans, study the parts, study the can, figure out what the can opener inventor was thinking when they tried to solve this problem. The can opener is also a bottle opener, but I explained that part wasn't relevant. I went back to my jigsaw puzzle. She was next to me grunting and groaning, trying to get the thing. I said that I should say that spatial orientation, process visualization, and order of operation are not things she intuits. I knew this would be a challenge, but it was a rainy weekend. Eventually, she collapsed in a frustrated heap. I said, explain the parts. She said, the little wheel is meant to cut. These gears turn the wheel when you spin the handle. This other wheel looks like a gear, but it isn't. She couldn't figure out the clamping step key element. I said the tool is made to be pleasing, but it doesn't have any super superfluous qualities. Everything that moves does so for a reason. She said, I hate you. I'm sure she believes that she does. I said, you don't understand everything except how the tool addresses the can. She sighed. At this point, she said, I don't want baked beans and marched off. Apocalypse dad went into full the road mode. Sweetheart, neither of us will eat another bite until we get this can of beans. She screamed, ah. Like Lucy Van Pelt, she read a book for a while. Soon she was back at the can. The top was all dented now. The lip of the can can pract the lip of the can practically serrated from the failed attempts. We studied the tool some more. She really wanted it to be oriented up and down across the top of the can. The sideways orientation is very counterintuitive. She was fixated on orienting the tool in a new, in a few configurations, and couldn't imagine other possibilities. She was fix- wait. I compared the can opener- God, this is so fucking long. This is so fucking long. This is so dumb. Chat, why was this a Twitter thing? Chat, why the fuck was this a Twitter thing? What even is this? It's some fucking thing called, like, Bean Dad, and it's from Twitter? Keep reading? Does it get better? Does- Chat, does this story get better? Actual child abuse- Getting your fucking child- there is child abuse in this? Keep reading? Chat, getting your child to figure out how to use a can opener on their own is not child abuse. Oh my god, she suggested- Oh wait, I compared the can opener to other tools. By now we were working on anger management and perseverance too. She suggested- Why would you post all this shit on Twitter? Holy fucking blog post. She studied- or she suggested she open the can with a hammer. There were tears. I told her stories of some of the great cans I'd opened over the years. She rolled her eyes. We talked about industrial design and what a funny little device the opener is. I showed how showed how I opened cans with a buck knife. I rhapsodized about cold spaghetti straight from the can. Oh wow, cool. It's a cool story, bro. Eventually, she had it all figured out. She had the placement of the tool. She could turn the handle and the can would spin. We were down on the floor by this point. But the kachunk of puncturing the lid still eluded us. We'd been at it for six hours on and off. I'm invested in the story now. John Garrison, thank you for the $2. I'm a snail, thank you for becoming a big pee pee. Pip out my love, your ASMR voice is soothing like the word soothe. My unicorn heart <laughs> skips a beat or something when you speak. Every strum of your vocal cords causes a rupture in my heart. Marry me, I love you. Well, thank you for the $10, Carl. Here, thank you for the $5. Need, Y'all need St. Peter Rabbit. Self park reference. Nate's little thing for the $1. Is Ben the next Terry Davis? I'm a snail thing with a 42.69 for the nine much. Really wish doctor thing with twenty dollars. Glad this is my first ASMR experience. Earth, thank you for the 3.33. Pibble laugh, best ASMR. Okay. Six hours, still not amused. No, no, it's still not amused. If you listen, if you're telling your kid that like they can't eat, I think that's fucked up. But I also don't know if that like, I don't know if that like is abusive. 
I feel like people throw around the, uh, the word abuse a little bit too much. We were hungry. I'd been tempted many times along the way to guide her hand. I wanted her to experience the magnificence of the can opener so much I couldn't stand the suspense. Neither of us likes baked beans that much, the cupboards are bare, so it seemed like a paltry reward for this work. I'd forgotten how finicky the tool really is, particularly when it comes to the puncture. She had it all lined up, but the cutting wheel is a little wobbly. Damn thing. Finally, she squeezed down on it. Although it was a misfire, a light went off in her head. Many times throughout the day, she'll yell at me. My brain is fuzzy. I can't think of anything else to try. And I'd say, when your brain doesn't work, trust your hands. She felt the tool click over the lip of the can. I saw it in her hands. By this point, she developed a little ritual of addressing the tool to the can. Starting with it on a vertical axis and rotating it to the horizontal while clapping down in a sing, sing motion. A choreography. She looked at me expectantly, excitedly. After six hours of trying, you don't want to express you don't want to express too much help. Was this another blind alley? The can had been through hell, label ripped off, dented, sharpened, and bird. A veteran of a thousand psychic wars. She knew though, she set up again and brought the swing away to bear on the can of S and W bank beans with meticulous of with the meticulousness of Roger Moore extracting a detonator from an ICBM and the spy who loved me. A soft pop sound resounded in the room, so different from all the other sounds we'd made. She didn't look up. She knew the action. A little baked bean the sauce appeared. She savored each twist until the lid, as I hoped it would. Oh. Rewarded her by standing perfectly at attention, saluting her effort and ingenuity. She was elated and carried it to the kitchen in both hands. She knew this was commonplace task and a common tool, but also that this was serious business. She knows her dad and the stock I put in these things. A more mechanically inclined kid might have figured it out in minutes. She factored the scale, but was rightfully proud. I'm proud of her too. I know I'm infuriating. I know this parenting this is parenting theater in some ways. I suffer from a lack of perseverance myself, and like all parents throughout history, I'm trying to correct my own mistake in the way I educate my child. She sees through this. The swing away can opener is a little voodoo doll for us now. It will reappear as an allegory many more times in her life, you can be sure. She knows this too. But this is an allegory of triumph. I wish I had more of those for myself. I wish I had more stories like this. The only problem is now she wants to open every fucking can in the house. Chat, that was fucking stupid. Chat. Chat, that was really fucking stupid. I don't know why. I don't know why this was a thing. This was like a whole thing on Twitter. This was a whole fucking thing on Twitter. I remember it and I never bothered to read it because I thought it sounded stupid. But Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. That was fucking dumb, Jen. People really care. That is insane. That is insane. Jesus Christ. Ah, I warn you no points and may God have mercy. Six hours. Yes, yeah, six hours. Twitter being stupid? No! Zena, thank you for the two dollars. This father is a frustrated book writer. Yeah, I think I can see that. I, I, I can believe that. Highly and Juggle, thank you for the two dollars. Have you ever heard of Gail Corn Schuler? Little lol cow, it sounds familiar. John Garrison, thank you for the two dollars. I'm invested in the story now. I don't know why you would be. I keep bumping the microphone. Fox in Socks, a tongue twister for super children by Dr. Seuss. Take it slowly, this book is dangerous. Fox? Socks, box, knocks, knocks and box, fox and socks, knocks on fox and socks and box, socks on knocks and knocks and box, fox and socks on box on knocks. Chicks with bricks come, chicks with blocks come, chicks with bricks and blocks and clocks come. Look, sir, look, sir, Mr. Knox, sir, let's do tricks with bricks and blocks, sir, let's do tricks with chicks and clocks, sir. First, I'll make a quick trick brick stack, then I'll make a quick trick block stack. You can make a quick trick chick stack. You can make a quick trick clock stack. And here's a new trick, Mr. Knox. Socks on chicks and chicks on fox. Fox on clocks on bricks and blocks. Bricks and blocks on knocks on box. Now we come to ticks and talks, sir. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, sir. 
Blocks on fox tick, clocks on fox talk. Sick sick bricks tick, sick sick chicks talk. Please sir, I don't like this trick sir. My tongue isn't quick or slick sir. I get all those ticks and clocks, sir, mixed up with the chicks and talk sir. I can't do it, Mr. Fox sir. I'm so sorry, Mr. Knox sir. Here's an easy game to play. Here's an easy thing to say. New socks, two socks, who socks, sue socks, who sues, socks, sir. Wait, that's not easy, Mr. Fox, sir. Who comes, crow comes, slow Joe, crow comes, who sews, crow's clothes, sue sews, crow's clothes, slow Joe, crow, sews, whose clothes, sue's clothes, sue sews, socks a fox and socks now. Slow Joe, crow sews, knocks in box now. Sue souls rolls on slow Joe Crow's clothes. <laughs> Random no money. Thank you for five dollars. Pippa the rap gone. Oh my god. Jail ten. Thank you for thirty. Or for the for the three thirty three. New mic stand fun. I don't need no one. It's working. Go Pippa. Should I keep going? Do I keep going? You guys like the weirdest things. Fox souls holes on slow Joe Crow's nose. Holes girls, rose girls, nose holes go some. Rose, ro oh sorry, crows. Rose grows some. Mr. Fox, I hate this game, sir. This game makes my tongue quite lame, sir. Mr. Knox, sir, what a shame, sir. We'll find something new to do now. Here is a lot, or here is lots of new blue goo now. New goo, blue goo, gooey gooey, blue goo, new goo, gluey gluey, gooey goo. For chewy chewing. That's what Goo Goose is doing. Do you choose to chew goo too, sir? If sir, you sir, sir, choose to chew, sir, with the Goo Goose chew, sir, do sir, Mr. Fox, sir, I won't do it. I can't say it, I won't chew it. Very well, sir, step this way, we'll find another game to play. Bim comes, Ben comes, Bim brings Ben broom, Ben brings boom, Bim broom, Ben bends, Bim's broom, Ben bends, Ben's broom. Bem, Benz, Benz, Benz. Benz, Bent Broom Breaks, Bims, Bent Broom Breaks, Benz Band, Bems Band, Big Bands, Pig Bands, Bim and Ben lead bands with brooms. <laughs> we lost 40 people, understandable. Can you guys shut the fuck up about numbers? Benz Band, Bangs and Bims Bam Booms. Pig band, boom band, big band, boom band. My poor mouth can't say that, sir. No, sir, my poor mouth is too slow, sir. Well, then bring your mouth this way. I'll find it something it can say. Thanks, Gun, for helping me find Pippa. Thank you, person with a Japanese character for a name that I, that I don't understand. Huey, thank for the 690. I do not like black dick kind, sir. Black dick is not what I prefer. Not here, not there, not any place. Now get your black dick off of my face. What the fuck, Huey? What the fuck? It's red 10? Okay. <laughs> it's a fucking super chat! From Huey! Donated 690! Why?! <laughs> it's a fucking super chat! And there's a day thing about one thought. If we're really being honest, never having a girlfriend, never having sex with a woman really makes you more heterosexual. Because honestly, dating women is gay. Men having sex with women is gay. And having sex with men is gay. And it's really all gay. I am not- somebody sent me a, a copy pasta of me. Man, shut the fuck up and stop bashing Korean games. Okay, listen, you know what fucking sucks- you know what fucking sucks Western games, chat? You wanna- you wanna want about fucking Western games and then invest in shit like penis sliders? That invest in shit like penis sliders but don't even finish the goddamn game on time? How about that one, chat? How about that one? You wanna throw stones in a glass house, chat? You wanna throw stones in a glass house when the fucking Western developers can't even finish their fucking games on time? Mmm. Mmm. At least this game launched finished. Damn. 
Damn! Hmm, I wonder. I wonder what Western game development companies put out unfinished games. I wonder which Western game development studios are pumping out unfinished games. Wow. Wow. I can't even think of one, man. I can't. Wow. Yeah, all of them. Literally fucking all of them. You download Cyberpunk 2077. Now you download this great unfinished game. It's called Cyberpunk 2077. It's finally out now that nobody cares. You know what game that's on sale now? You know what game went on sale immediately after it came out? You know that game? Enjoy! You wanna shit on, you wanna shit on Korean games? Oh, it looks like at least not more players, at least especially Korean animal players, you know what we're getting into, we know what we're getting into, alright, we don't have to, we don't have to fucking cope, we don't have to be like, oh man, I sure, I sure hope that when fucking Lost Ark comes out, they're not gonna censor the game though, huh, and I sure hope that the fucking game isn't gonna have a pay to win cash shop, because you know what, we know that it's gonna, we know that it's going to, alright, and yet every fucking time, some triple A title gets announced, Western, Western game fans are like, oh my god, that's gonna be fucking amazing, that's gonna be like, ooh, this is gonna be like game of the year. Let's go! Fallout 76. Oh, this looks amazing! Fucking idiots, keep wasting your money. Let's see how GTA 6 turns out. All that hype for GTA 6. Let's see how that turns out, bunny. At least, at least Korean MMOs were fucking. Were, were, were fans were content in our misery. Okay, you motherfuckers keep high expectations for your shit. You don't fucking learn. You don't fucking learn. At least our games are finished, man. You know what's easy to finish a game fast when the fucking development studios actually work on it, okay? And don't spend all their time posting random shit on Twitter, mm. or, or in Blizzard's case, uh, harassing their employees. Mm. How about that one? How about that one? How about the fucking Korean game developers actually working on their fucking games, buddy? Was that still ASMR? <laughs> First thing about 333. You honestly should not read super chats in the like or interact with chat much during an ASMR stream. Understandable. Ken Ashcorp, thank you for the 629 for the love of God, Don't Read the Chaos by Trinity Day, a poem about how terrible the English language can be from the perspective of a Dutchman 1922. Neil Cavalier, thank you for the $5 peak ASMR. Is the... is that one... That's the... that's the one... um... I think I know that one. The Chaos poem. Oh. I- I can try this. What the fuck did I just do? Hi, beast. For all cap- for capitalists, it's always smart. Thank you for the two dollars, skin kaji. Dearest creature in creation, studying English pronunciation, I will teach you in my verse. Sounds like corpse, cores, horse, and worse. I will keep you, Susie, buzzy. 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 Busy. 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 Make your head with heat grow dizzy. Tear and eye you dress you'll tear. Oh, your dress you'll tear. Queer fair seer, hear my prayer. Pray, console your loving poet. Make my coke look new, dear so it. Just compare heart here and heard. Dies and diet, lord and word. Sword and sward, retain and written. Mind the latter, how it's written. Made has not the sound of bade. Say said, pay paid, laid but plead, or plaid. Now I will surely not plague you with such words as vague and hake, but be careful how you speak, say gush, bush, steak, streak, break, bleak. Previous precious fuchsia via recipe pipe studding sale, choir woven oven how and low, script and receipt show poem tone. Say expecting fraud and trickery, daughter and laughter and turpus score. Branch, ranch, measles, topsails, aisles, missiles, similes, reviles. Holy, holly, signal, signing, same, examining, but mining, scholar, vicar, and cigar, solar, solar, mica, war, and far. From desire, desirable, admirable, from admire, lumber, plumber, plum, plumber, plumber, buyer, but briar. Top sham, rotham, renowned, but known. Renowned but known, knowledge done long gone, long gone, none tone. One an enemy, Balmoral, kitchen, lichen, laundry, laurel, Gertrude, German, wind and wind, bow, kind, kindred, Q, mankind. Holy shit, this keeps going. It's people reading the dictionary, basically. I want Pippa or Lumi to play with my balls like they would Play-Doh. 
Pippa would be the most experienced, but her focus is on her own enjoyment and might end up taking it too far in her desire to hear you cry. Her inability to be satisfied with just using her hands and feet means she'll quickly move on to other things. Whether it's ball bands and indis indirect castration jokes that make you nervous because you're not sure if she's joking, or metal sounding rods she's just way too rough with, or post-orgasm polishing to the point of permanent gland damage, you constantly worry one day you'll fall asleep after the three-day-old macaroni she reheated you and wake up restrained and no longer having a say in any of it. Injury is never off the table with her. Yuri would be enthusiastic to try and to, to try anything to make you happy, but have no clue what she's doing. Never going far enough and incessantly asking every step of the way if you're okay. She never grasps why you want her to hurt you, but she loves you and will give it her all. Any sort of objects scare her. Oh, objects scare her and insists on sticking to her hands and feet. She finds particular enjoyment in rough foot jobs where your dick is the way hole cut in the sole of her stockings that can be pulled out to prevent you from escaping. She never allows you to come anywhere except inside her, however, and at the end she holds you on holds onto you like an Australian drop bear, not being able to shake the worry she hurt you too much. Endearing but not quite ball draining, Lumi thinks you're too weird for any of this. Outside of the bedroom, she'll never tease you about it. She'll never let you even hold her feet in your lap. You both know what you want, but you don't dare speak of it. Once you're in the bedroom, she doesn't hesitate to go to town on your balls in the way an Irish jig performer would a stage. She takes you right up to the edge of what you can endure and crosses it, but you know she cares about you and knows this is what you want. No matter how much pain she inflicts on you, you still feel safe with her. You trust her. You'll be lucky to ever see a finish that isn't her riding you with a silicone sounding rod in them. She'll be half-dressed and out of the bedroom door before you can even remove the rod and let the cum dribble out. Chat, you guys are really fucking weird. Chat, you guys are really fucking weird. Brought to you by the same kind of anon that sends you one side of one life at the end. With the hopes that eventually you join in. Yeah. I'm neurotypical, I promise. I don't believe in Aquada. Huey, thank you for the 420. Yes, apparently it means castration, according to this guy. Ah. Ken Ashcorp, thank you for the 629. Thanks, Pippa. I hope you tongue wraps around Asmongold's bald spot as gracefully as the poem you just read. <laughs> thank you, Ken. Very nice. Also, we're really, for the 117. Please read the one I sent in a reply on Twitter. I will, I will check it out. This is a very spiritual experience, chat. I hope you guys are in a guided meditative state right now. Where the fuck did you send it on Twitter? In reply on Twitter to what? I have so many fucking tweets, dude. I have like 10 million tweets. Is it on the original one, maybe? Oh god, dude, I have too many tweets. Is it this one? Ah, oh, dude, I don't know where it is, dude. I'm sorry. Do your first day of small one, dude, I don't- I don't know where it is, man. I think I see it. I posted it six hours ago, right? Also, Ira, what's your Twitter account name? I need to know your Twitter account name, dude. The old gods are guiding me. Ah, any more submissions? There, there's... There's a few, yeah. Diego Quiler, thank you for becoming a big PP! Oh, last flick. It's bait, you're on the spreadsheet now. Mmm. Narohodo. Um. Oh. Glad you could bake it, Uther. Watch your tone with me, boy. You may be the waiter, but I'm still your superior as a chef. As if I could forget it. Listen, there's something about the plugette you should need. Oh no, it's too late. These people Roni have all been infected Nana. They may look all dente now, but it's a matter of time before they turn into the undeadable. What? This entire citrilla must be peeled. 
How can you even cook that? There's gotta be some other way. Damn it, Umami. As your future chef, I order you to broil this city. You are not my chef yet, Boyardee. Nor would I obey that command if you were. Then I must consider this an act of seasoning. Seasoning? Have you sauced your mince, Arthas? Have I, Lord Umami, by my, by my right of succession and sovereignty of my crown of roast pork? I hereby rehydrate you from your commander, commander and suspenderoni your pepperoni from service. Arthas, you just can't... It's done. For those of you who have the will to taste this flan, follow me. The rest of you, get out of my kitchen. You've just tossed a terrible salad, Arthas. Jana, I'm sorry, Arthas. I can't watch you cook this. Okay. Carl, thank you for the $10. It's not enough anymore. The voices in my head went from sounding like Hatsune Mika to Mika, Miku to Pippa. Today I went to Starbucks and the voice yelling at me for not getting the grande. The yelling doesn't stop. Carl, you should... Carl, maybe you should, um... I don't know, Carl, drink some more water. Carl, drink some more water and, uh... Maybe check to see if any black cars are following you. Also, everything for the 117? I'm a full guy on Twitter. Okay. Jamie, thank you for the $10. Please look up the Church of Gale and her children's book, The Forbidden Abyss. I will do that after stream. Thank you, Jay. Can we think of it? Thank you for the 911. You remind me a little of Regan from Inside Jail. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I really like that. Uh, I really like that show. Overseer USA, they were becoming a big beep beam. Uh, Kiss in the Hentai, thank you for the 10 or $2. Kira Yoshikage, copy pasta, pause champ. 10, thank you for the 211. Looking forward to the next Lovecraft reading. Let's see. How's your meditation going? Oh my god. Chad, why are there so- there Chad, why are there recipes here? Chad, why the fuck- Why the fuck are you guys sending me recipes? Oh, I like this one. Gomenasai, my name is Pipkin-sama. I'm a 27-year-old American otaku, anime fan for you guardians. I draw anime and manga on my tablet and spend my days- Perfecting my art and playing superior Japanese games, Disgaea, Final Fantasy, Perfo Persona series. I train with my katana every day. This superior weapon can cut clean through steel because it's folded over a thousand times, and is vastly superior to any other weapon on earth. I earned my sword license two years ago and I've been getting better every day. I speak Japanese fluently, both kanji and the Osaka dialect, and I write fluently as well. I know everything about Japanese history and the Bushido code, which I follow 100% when I get my Japanese visa. I'm moving to Tokyo to attend a prestigious high school to learn more about their magnificent culture. I hope I can become an animator for Studio Ghibli or a game designer. I own several kimonos which I wear around town. I want to get used to wearing them before I move to Japan so I can fit in easier. I bow to my elders and seniors and speak Japanese as often as I can, but rarely does anyone manage to respond. Wish me luck in Japan. Chad, isn't that incredible? I can't believe I can't believe uh, PewDiePie is moving to Japan and he sent me that message just now. That's incredible. Wow. Okay. Um. Oh God. Oh God. <coughs> Fresh off the boat from Reddit, kid. <laughs> I remember when I was just like you, brain dead. Let me give you a tip so you can make it in this cyber sanctuary. Never make jokes like that. You got no reputation here. You got no name. You got jack shit here. It's survival of the fittest and you ain't gonna survive long on 4chan by saying stupid jokes that your little hug box cunt sucking reddit friends would upvote. None of that here. You don't upvote. You don't downvote. This ain't a reddit kid. This is 4chan. We have real intellectual discussion here. Something I don't think you're all, all familiar with. You don't like it? You can hit the bricks on over to Imager. You you daily show watching son of a bitch. I hope you don't though. I hope you stay here and learn our ways. Things are different here. Unlike any other pl- Fuck, it keeps going down. Any other place that the light of the internet pop culture reaches. You can be anything here. Me? I'm a judge. This place. 
This place has a lot to offer. You'll see, kid. That is, if you can handle it. Guys. My name is Yoshikage Kira. I'm 33 years old. My house is in the northeast section of Morayo, where all the villas are, and I am not married. I work as an employee for the Kameyu department stores, and I get home every day by 8pm at the latest. I don't smoke, but I occasionally drink. I'm in bed by 11pm, and make sure I get 8 hours of sleep no matter what. After having a glass of warm milk and doing about 20 minutes of stretches before going to bed, I usually have no problem sleeping until morning. Just like a baby, I wake up without any fatigue or stress in the morning. I was told there are no issues at my last checkup. I'm trying to explain that I'm a person who wishes to live a very quiet life. I take care to not, not to trouble myself with any enemies, like winning and losing, that would cause me to lose sleep at night. That is how I deal with society, and I know that it, that is what brings me happiness. Although, if I were to fight, I wouldn't lose to anyone. For me, it's the McChicken, the best fast food sandwich. I even ask for an extra McChicken sauce packets and the staff is so friendly and more than willing to oblige. One time, I asked for McChicken sauce packets and they gave me three. I said, wow, three for free? And the nice friendly McDonald's worker laughed and said, I'm going to call you three for free. Now the staff greets me with a, hey, it's three for free and always gives me three packets. It's such a fun and cool atmosphere at my local McDonald's restaurant. I go there at least three times a week for lunch and a large nice coffee with milk instead of cream. One, two times for breakfast on the weekend, and maybe once for dinner when I'm in a rush, but want a great meal that is affordable, fast, and can match my daily nutritional needs. <sighs> it's three for free! <coughs> <coughs> Holy fucking shit, I want the bang the animal crossing dog so bad, goddamn bad. I can't stand it anymore. Every time I go to the town hall, I get a massive erection. I see literally every thrill. Floor poster is our online. My dream are nothing of but constant sex with Isabel. I'm sick of waking up every morning with sex nuts in my bunkers and knowing that those are nuts that should have been busted inside of Isabel's tight dog pussy. I want her to have my mutant human dog babies. Fuck! My fucking belt got me like every dog! I dressed her in my sister's skirt and went to fucking down. She hasn't said a word to me in 10 hours no more. She's gonna take away my 3DS. I might not ever get to see Isabel again. <laughs> Danny, thank you for the fun dollars. Fun fact, he's real and got married to a JP lady not too long ago. I'm very happy for him. <laughs> I have never been less aroused. Nice. <laughs> hey, what are you on? I'm new. Hold that spark. My name is Key, but you can all call me the Penguin of Doom. Well, as you can see, I'm very random. That's why I came here to meet random people like me. I'm 13 years old. I'm mature for my age, though. I like to watch Invader Zim with my girlfriend. I'm bi. If you don't like it, deal with it. It's our favorite TV show because it's so random. She's random too, of course, but I want to meet random, more random people. Like they say, the more the merrier. Like, no ways, I hope to make a lot of friends here to give me lots of compliments. Doom! Me being random again. <laughs> Toodles! Love and waffles. The penguin now down. Pippa originally wrote this at 13. What the fuck? Alphonse, thank you for the day today. Here's three for free! Toppy is a Marston, by the way. Thank you. The Pippa of Doom. Alright, let's see here. I'm a lone wolf. I decide the rulers, or I decide the rules of my inner and outer kingdom. I'm a loner, and this gives me strength, courage, and authenticity. I'm a lone, dangerous lion. I can walk across a savanna full of packs of hyenas without a moment of doubt or hesitation. I am in competition with my previous self and no one else. I have total freedom. I have no master, and I take orders from no one. I come and go into any social circle and situation as I please. I live without consequences. When women say they are attracted to intelligence, 
I am what they imagine. I am a wolf among sheep. <laughs> the pepperoni! Ah, the pepperoni! Does thou perceive the thing of which I speak? The pepperoni, where there is not one that I obtained from Domino's boutique of pepperoni! I am rather fond. I evermore request a pan of cheese. Can words express the heart of a gourmand? Perhaps a drawing will do more than these behold. The pan of cheese contains an ear, and in that ear is cheese in greater share. And pepperoni on the surface, here, which Domino's has placed with such great care. I pluck it with impunity. Away! Because I shall consume it, not this day. <laughs> memes. I was in the server, right? And all of these channels were just among us stuff. I showed my champion underwear to my girlfriend and the, the local. I flipped it and I said, hey, babe, when the underwear is sus. <laughs> ding, 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 I looked like a, I fucking looked at a trash can. I said, that's a bit saucy. I looked at my penis. I thought of an astronaut's helmet and I go, penis, more like peen sauce. <laughs> <laughs> God is dead. God remains dead. And we have killed him. How shall we comfort ourselves? The murderers of our murderers. What was holiest and mightiest of all that the world has what owned has went to death and one nuts? Who will wipe this blood off of us? What a water is there for us to queen ourselves? What festivals of atonement? What sacred games? Shall we have to invent? Is not the greatness of this deed too great for us? Must we ourselves not become gods simply to a priest worthy of it? <laughs> I had a stroke. I'm daddy's little python. <laughs> I'm all squishy and wet for daddy. He loves all my bitter taste and all his taste buds in my botanical rain TM scent. But he knows I'm not meant to be eaten. Wah! Don't eat all of me, daddy. Hehe, <laughs> my soul pussy is so wet. One lick, two lick, three lick, four. No more, Daddy, you'll break. <laughs> I'm Daddy's little tight pot, so wet and squishy. Thank you for the 333, dude, bussy, you will Dude, dude, bro. When the bussy is sus. <laughs> Holy fuck. <clears throat> Alright. Um, one of you sent me a very nice little post about guns that I cannot read. Hold on, guys. My fucking eyes, I'm tearing up. Holy shit. If you were killed, Aishita, I wouldn't go to your funeral because I'd be in jail for killing the baka that crossed on you. Oh my god, we true Tomodachi, we ride together we die together. <laughs> oh god. Wait it anyways, I, I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> you know, I am very surprised nobody sent in the Vaporian copy pasta. Oh, here are sk here's a schizo talking about how fumos are somehow related to lolis. What? Hold on, let me check this out. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just dive in. Let's just dive in. Mm. 
I'll just scoot over here. There we go. Oops. Thread on why FUMOs are quite possibly among the worst internet crazes in recent memory and how they are designed to appeal to soy bug gamer people and nobody else. On paper, the concept of FUMOs are harmless enough. They are plushies for the Toho series. This is where it should end, right? Unfortunately, it doesn't. For starters, a look at the actual plushie itself. It is an incredibly shitty design. The eyes are emphasized to be as big as possible, while the hands are really small. It is meant to give off a childlike appearance to it, no matter how much FUMO Twitter tells you otherwise. So what is the point of the appearance? The official designs look young, but pale in comparison to FUMO designs. Children don't play the Toho series. This is specifically designed in mind for terminally online people who are addicted to lolcon material. As a result, there, have been, there has been a ridiculous demand for this said demographic, to the point where they are shelling hundreds of us US dollars just to have one of these plush dolls, and so they can obsess over them. It is to the point where it's arguably a borderline cult. I don't think cult members fry sacred artifacts. I don't, th I don't think you would batter and fry a sacred artifact. It doesn't just end there. If you went into the communities, it is filled with every terminally online group imaginable. Everyone from leftists, tradcasts, R9K, basement dwellers, no group is left out at all. So what's the point of this thread, you may ask? Funko Pops are derided and met with scorn whenever the topic is brought up, and rightfully so. But why isn't the same treatment given to Fumo plushies in its community? The behavior of the latter is 10 times worse and more obnoxious than soy Funko collectors could dream of, and they actually pay hundreds of dollars for them. Simply put, it's another example about the double standards Japan is given for nearly everything. This is basically their own Funko Pops, but instead of ridicule, it's met with a cult following, which overshadows the fact the whole point of them is to cater to Wallacon lovers. Newsflash, Japanese companies and institutions in general are just as bad as the West. It is not too much of a stretch to think exactly the types of people they pander to. Age of Consent is only two years older than the actual third world shithole. Till there, the cult-like behavior surrounding these plushies should be treated with scorn and ridicule, just like what happened with Funko Pops. It should not be given any exception just because it came from a different country on the other side of the world. Durr, let people have fun. But what about X, Y, and Z? Already my mentions are being blown up by the same talking points over and over. Like I said, this is a literal cult of long cows. It is unlike anything I have ever seen on the internet. You aren't owning me by regurgitating the same talking points I've heard over and over. If anything, by acting like complete sheep, it pretty much proves what I was saying to be right. Hmm. Fumo server mods ban literally everyone who posts a piece of fabric being destroyed. Not a cult. Average Fumo fan when somebody- Oh. They deleted their door. I private their account. Somewhat related, this account is a microsm of everything I mentioned in this thread. The more I see how cultish you are all over pieces of fabric from Japan, the better Funko Redditors look. Well, they, 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 dude, they're just fishing for fucking attention there. Dude, oh, dude, dude, chat, this person's just too poor to afford a FUMO. This person's just, oh my god, this person's molding because they can't afford a, a FUMO. Holy shit. This person either likes Funko Pops. Chat, this person is either molding because they like Funko Pops. Or they just can't afford a FUMO. Chat, I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. This person will never own a FUMO. They will never own a FUMO. You know, this is just my take, but you know why I think FUMOs are better than Funko Pops? I'm not a I'm not a Funko Pop hater, right? I don't I'm not actually part of like the Funko Pop hate bandwagon. But I think FUMOs are just gonna be inherently better because they're adapting from an art style to another art style that is in the same sphere, right? You're going from like full body style anime drawings to chibi style plushies. So, 
it doesn't, it doesn't look strange. That and the Fumo designs are just actually good. Like, it's just very appeasing to look at. Funko Pops, a big issue with a lot of them. This is why I actually, I have some Funko Pops, but I only buy the animals. Because with the animals, it doesn't look as weird. But with the people, the Funko Pops, they have like these black beady eyes that just look really weird. Whereas Fumos have like a more digestible eye style. So, yeah, Funkos have Solus eyes, and they really do. Like, chat, I will show you. I'm not a fucking Funko Pop collector, but... I think some of them are cute. Because they're like, they're like merchandise of things that you can't always get stuff of. So like, um... I have like, I have like the dinosaurs. I have like, uh, I have a blue Funko Pop. Normal size and, um... Let me make sure I got the image address, there we go. See, like, I have these. I think they're cute. They're just little dinosaurs, they don't look bad. I don't think these look bad, Chad, I think they're actually very cute. Nandroids are better. I do think Nandroids are better. Cute? They are cute. I think it's dumb to blindly hate something just because of the brand. I think some Funko Pops are unironically good. Like the My Little Pony ones were pretty cute as well. And the My Little Pony ones came out at a time when there like wasn't much My Little Pony merch. Oh god. Oh god, the new ones are ugly. Okay, like hold on, look at this chat. Okay, so this is like bad Funko Pop, right? Hold on, oh shit, hold on. I I think oh god. I'm in the way. I think this is a very shitty looking Funko Pop. This is a very shitty looking Funko Pop chat. But like Oh god, why is oh okay, here we go. like uh let me let me go and like i think this one is cute she's like the reason why her lower body is like that is uh it's she's a mermaid pony she's like a mermaid pony in that moment i don't think those are bad and again i really like the dinosaurs can't get past the eyes mm, they just remind me of like Chibi animals. I don't think they're bad. I think the dinosaur ones are definitely the best though. I can show you guys some more dinosaur Funko Pops. The new blue one actually looks very good. I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> I'm sorry chat. But it looks very good. I'm gonna show it to you. Yeah. It's blue with her baby. I think that's fucking adorable. It's kind of dark, so it's hard for you guys to see. But I think they're cute. Is the demon pip out? No, it's not. Dinosaur one looks fine. If you think so, Pippa, I just... Chat, I can agree there are some very shitty looking ones. But oh, oh check out this in the wrap there. Probably gonna be too dark to actually show up nicely. And these stupid filters on screen. Look at that! I think that's pretty cool! I think that's pretty cool. I fucking love the indoor out there. See, but that's another unpopular take that I have. A lot of people really hate, um... Is this still is Mart? Oh, was I talking too loudly? Was I talking too loudly? What do you mean dark? Like, I, like the, the exposure is very dark on the screen. What's the secret to have 500 CCV? Not playing my- Man, shut the fuck about numbers. And then I think for the... Becoming a big pee, -pee though. Please wh whisper in my ear, cutest rabbit. Oh my god. Or was my thing? Where did my- Oh, there we go. Oh my god, I'm still getting submissions. The 
Holy fuck. Holy fuck. I need to turn some missions off, probably. Let's see what other copy pastas I got. Send me more copy pastas. Oh my god. Please, God, let me meet her. All I want to do is find that perfect girl I know exists. She's sweet and shy, and my age, and likes all the things I do. Perhaps even is on the site itself. The girl who won't secretly think I'm a loser. The girl I can cuddle with, even if only possible online. And spends nights talking to and laughing and sharing happiness. Someone who can reciprocate the love I put in. The girl who I can make feel safe and secure unconditionally. And fill the escaping empty void in my heart. Please let me find this person. I'll change everything about me if that's what it takes. Please. I just can't take the loneliness anymore. Oh damn, that's sad. Stop! Oh wait, no, I never read that one. That's the Among Us. I'm not reading the George R. R. Mount Martin shitting one. All one thread. This is so many links, what the fuck? Okay, uh, listen, too many images, bro. Too many, so, somebody sent like six images. It's too many. Let's go to the bottom here. This was a mistake. Rub the mic on your tummy. Pippa Pipkin, first tweet. Bottom you. Come on, England. Score some fucking goals. Can you beg Anon not to kill himself? Thanks, Anon. Please do not kill yourself. <sighs> oh, a bunch of Twitter posts. Coffee pastas, you gotta, you gotta send me some more coffee pastas, chat. And don't keep sending me the fucking Gorilla Warfare one. Somebody sent the Elephant Show one again. Oh my god. Why are you like this? What the fuck? Threadly relevant and a high quality reminder for you unlifting Anon Jodes to post. Oh, what the fuck? To post Bonnie Lits and get a trip. Tripping is the only way anyone will believe anything you have to say about anything. And only if you demonstrate at least one of the following a squat in excess of both 2.5 times body weight and 500 pounds, a deadlift in excess of both 2.5 times body weight and 500 pounds, a bench press in excess of both 1.5 times body weight and 350 pounds, a the press in excess of well, JK, this is a powerlifting thread, no one cares about your irrelevant accessory lift this a front squat equal to or greater than the mouth for plate and 1.75 times body weight, a body that fit won't roundly criticize, good fucking luck. If you can't manage at least one of those, shut the fuck up, go to the gym, and try harder. A girl and a gamer? Wow, mama! Humana, 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 buzzing! Buzz buzzing? Eyes pop out. Arrgh! Jaw drops, tongue rolls out. Woof, 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 woof. Tongue burst out of the out of uncontrollably leaking face. Everything in reach. Tiny cupid shoots an arrow through my heart. Ah, me lady. Heart in the shape of a heart starts beating so hard you can see it too short. Ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum. Milk truck. Crashes into a bakery store, it, bakery store in the background, spilling white liquid and dough on the streets. Baby, what's the fuck? 
inhales from the gas tank, hunka hunka hunka, masturbates furiously. Oh my god! What the fuck? What? <laughs> Real talk, when I was a kid, I so desperately wanted to meet John Cena that I used to pray to God at night asking him to give me cancer. When I went home and had my first confession, I asked the priest if it was a sin to ask God for things when I prayed. He asked me what sorts of things I was asking for, and I told him that I had been praying for cancer so I could see John Cena. He ended up telling my mom, and she beat me with a shoe for embarrassing her in front of the priest. Because of this betrayal, I never trusted the priest, which kind of worked out because I didn't get molested like one of my friends did. Thanks, big match, John. Igor, the year 33, she bought Funko Pops, Dropper. Copyright Snake Demon to Dollar the Virgin 3D printed Funko vs. Chad Handmade Fumo. Not one of those things from 333, Fumos are great. Funko Pops are as if Beanie Baby and Pet Rock had an abortion. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Um. Oh my god. Why does this thing keep. The thing keeps resetting, as if... Turkey, E. Whiskey glass, goo 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 I care, plus I ask, plus smile about it, plus stay glad, plus W, plus mauled, seethe, copeless, plus not basic, plus skill, plus rational, plus you fell up, plus no audacity, plus triggered, plus you got a life, plus okay, smiley face, plus not cringe, plus touch grass, plus funny, plus laugh, plus gamer, plus good, plus no grammar, plus good, plus based, plus you're not good, plus not reported, plus GG, plus you're not real, plus liquid. Plus, gross, glad, complex, skill, belly, but the red, 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 this goes on for a total fucking long. Holy shit, that goes on for a total long. Today, when I walked into my economics class, I saw something I dread every time I closed my eyes. Someone had brought their new gaming laptop to class. The forklift he used to bring it in, bring it, was still running idle at the back. I started sweating as I sat down and gazed over at the 700 pound beast that was his laptop. He was already reinforced- he had already reinforced his desk with steel support beams and was in the process of finding an outlet for a power cable thicker than Amy Schumer's thigh. I start shaking. I keep telling myself that there's nothing to worry about. He somehow finds a fucking la fucking outlet. Tears are running down my cheeks as I send my last text to my family, saying I love them. The teacher starts the lecture, and the student turns his laptop on. The colored lights on his RGB backlit keyboard flare to life like a nuclear flash, and a deep humming fills my ears and shakes my very soul. The entire city power grid goes dark. The classroom begins to shake as the massive fans begin to spin. In mere moments, mere seconds, my world has gone from vibrant life to a dark, earth-shattering void where my body is getting torn apart by the 150 mile per hour gale winds and the 500 decibel groan of the cooling fans. As my body finally surrenders, I weep as my school and my city go under. I fucking hate gaming laptops. I just downloaded your comment. Fuck, what does this mean? The amount of karma points on your comment and Reddit account has decreased by one. Why did you do this? There are several- What the fuck? Hold on. There are several reasons I may deem a comment to be unworthy of positive or neutral karma. These include, but are not limited to, rudeness towards other Redditors, spreading incorrect information, sarcasm not correctly flat with a backslash S. Am I banned from Reddit? No, not yet, but you should refrain from making comments like this in the future, otherwise I will be forced to issue an additional downvote, which may put your commenting at the step the future in jeopardy. I can put in my comment there for the download. Can you undone one end? Sure. Mistakes happen but only in exceedingly rare cases. Circumstances will I undo a downvote. 
If you would like to issue an appeal, shoot me a private message complaining what I got wrong. I tend to respond to Reddit PMs within several minutes. Do note, however, that over 99.9% .9 of download appeals are rejected, and yours is likely no exception. How could I prevent this from happening in the future? Accept the downvote and move on. But learn from this mistake. Your behavior will not be tolerated on Reddit.com. I will continue to issue downvotes until you are of your contact. Reddit is a privilege, not a right. I need to start copying. I'm gonna copy and paste these into a notepad document. Because every time you guys submit one, the list moves. There we go. I just earned fuck you money from the recent crypto boom and GME options. And this is what I'm planning to do with it. First, I'm going to scout out all of the Japanese fanboy voice actresses that I possibly can on Twitter, 2chan, and Instagram. Hell, I'll throw in a couple of girls, too. I'll pay them all a hundred grand to spend a week watching Okaya's streams and learning her speech patterns and demeanor. Then, I'm going to fly them all out to a yacht and I'll have rented off of the coast of Japan. I'll provide ungodly amounts of heroin, cocaine, and LSD. I'll rig the HVAC system on the yacht to, yacht to spew copious amounts of experimental aphrodisiacs, hormones, and THC laced vapor all around the ship. When they arrive, I will direct Hollywood's best makeup arts and seamstress to dress them all up as a Caillou. They will match her exactly. They will walk, talk, and look like a Caillou. I will then activate the air conditioning and proceed to spend the next two weeks in a mind-blowing, drug-addled, Mega Orgy with all of my trained Okayu traps on the Mogu Yacht. We will suck, fuck, and come in each other mindlessly in a cacophony of Okayu laughs, murmurs, and moans. The ship's floors will be absolutely coated with the semen of Okayu's perfect doppelgangers. There will be casualties, of course, but it's nothing that money can't take care of. I will make Epstein's Island will look like a bastion of purity compared to my Disneyland of degeneracy. At the end of those two weeks, or whenever we run out of drugs, the ship's computer will unlock an armory located at the boat's base, only known to me, filled with immense fulfillment and post rampage rage and lunacy. I will commit mass Nekamata genocide and shoot up the entire ship. The ship will be equipped with several 360 degree cameras to capture the entirety of this from all vantage points. I'm going to edit it all together and do a super cut of the entire experience and upload it as a torrent through Starlink. Thanks, Elon! Which I will then Akasupa nine times to Akayu herself before committing shotgun suicide. You may call me Schizo and tell me to take my meds, but this is my dream and there's nothing going to stop me from achieving it. None of you would have the balls to see this through or do anything remotely like this if you made it rich. Fuck you all and see you all in a month on Live Leak. Oh shit, is Fishman here? Is my boss here? <laughs> Message retracted, oh no! <laughs> Hiya, Fishman. Hiya, how's it going? Don't mind me, I'm just reading off some viewer submissions. I hope things are going well. I tried to find his message in my logs. Oh, this looks like a good one. They are targeting... Wait. <clears throat> Hold on, let me take a nice sip. Let me take a nice sip. Don't blame us for this, oh, I'm blaming you for it. They targeted gamers. Gamers. We're a group of people who will sit down for hours, days, even weeks on end performing some of the hardest, most mentally demanding tasks. Over and over and over, all for nothing more than a little digital token saying we did. We'll punish ourselves, doing things others would consider torture, because we think it's fun. 
will spend most, if not all, of our free time min-maxing the stats of a fictional character, all to draw out a single extra point of damage per second. Many of us have made careers out of doing just these things, slogging through the grind all day, the same quest over and over, hundreds of times, to that point where we all know every little detail, such that some have attained such gamer nirvana that they can literally play these games blindfolded. Do these people have any idea how many controllers have been smashed? Systems overheated? Discs and carts destroyed in frustration? All to latter be referred to as bragging rights. These people honestly think this is a battle they can win. They take our media. We're already building a new one without them. They take our devs. Gamers aren't shy about throwing their money elsewhere or even making the games ourselves. They think calling us racist, misogynistic, or rape apologists is going to change us. We've been called worse things by prepubescent ten-year-olds with a shitty headset. They pick the fight against a group that's already grown desensitized to their strategies and methods. Who enjoy the battle of attrition? They've threatened with us. They've threatened us with. Who take it as a challenge when they tell us we no longer matter? Our obsession with proving we can after being told we can't is so deeply ingrained from years of dealing with big brothers, sisters, and friends laughing at how pathetic we used to be that proving you people wrong has become a very real need. A honed reflex. Gamers are competitive. Hardcore by nature. We love a challenge. The worst thing you did in all of this was to challenge us. You're not special. You're not original. You're not the first. This is just another boss fight. Yeah, gamers, gamers rise up. Gamers rise up, Chad. Do we have any gamers in chat? Do we have any? Do we have, do we have chat? Do we have any gamers in here? Hell oh, yeah. Look at all those gamers in chat. Wow. Fuck yeah. Fader guy, thank you for becoming a big pee pee. Gamers are the most oppressed minority. It's true. It's always been a fantasy of mine to be a sex slave for two bears, male and female, pleasing the male when she's when when she's tired, and vice versa. So what the fuck is this? I'm not reading this! This one's really degenerate. This one's really degenerate. I'm not reading this one. This, this one, this one just feels like... <laughs> Tip it in screen. No, no, I'm getting new submissions in. Erica, no! <laughs> the others weren't. This one's worse. Why Dora the Explorer can beat Goku, Superman, and One Punch Man? First off, Dora has her map, which essentially gives her omnipotence. This is because it has always known the locations of whatever she needs and would also know the location of her opponents. So, if Dora fought Goku, the map could tell her to go to space. Not only that, we could see the map operating in space, implying that Dora can survive in a vacuum. Next, Dora has her backpack. With this, it could, be, it could give whatever Dora needed to win the fight. Against Superman, she could pull out Kryptonite, and against Goku, it may give her the Dragon Balls to wish Goku away. Now, you may say this is no limits fallacy. However, in the backpack song, it is explicitly stated that anything you might need, I got inside for you. So, it can give Dora anything. Not only that, the backpack is magically powered entity itself. Finally, Dora wields the blue arrow. This may be one of the most strongest weapons in fiction. This is because the arrow does whatever she tells it to, and since it is controlled indirectly by the player of Dora's game, it is at least outerversal, plus giving it more than enough strength to restrain Goku or Superman. This is so dumb. In fact, the arrow is so powerful that it can literally change the plot and refuses demands from the viewers, meaning it can be defeated being- it can defeat being such as the one above all. Since compared to Dora, us the viewers are the one above all, and yet Dora can still make the arrow ignore us, meaning it can literally defeat omnipotence. At bare minimum, the arrow is capable of mind control on a beyond omnipotent level. Since it made her 
it made Swiper stop swiping, so she can make any of her combatants off themselves. Dora also has various skills from her many adventures, from learning how to drive to knowing how to pilot an airplane, indicating that she herself has super intelligence. Dora picks up any skills she needs. Dora could also summon the wishing stars, which would allow her to do anything she wants, making her making them more powerful than the Super Dragon Balls. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that, Jack? Okay, let's see here. <laughs> oh man, am I allowed to do... Mm, I, oh man, this one, I really want to do this one, but it talks about, uh... current events. Alright, that woke me the fuck up. <laughs> Flashlight's fault, really. Just the fact that trying to use the one I ordered for my 34th birthday has rammed home the basic fact that I am a loser and that I am never going to get laid in my life. I am apparently both too small and too big to use the flashlight. Small in the penis and big in the grossly overweight stomach. The result is that I apparently can't get very deep into the thing and experience the ribbing and other textures. I ordered four inserts at once, three super tights with the three sorts of textures, wave, ripped, and bumped, and one ultra tight. With all of them, I have been able- I have been having an incredible struggle to find a comfortable position to get it in with my enormous stomach to allow for using the thing long enough to get off. I apparently developed a way to masturbate my hand, then deluded myself into thinking I was normal. I am obviously not. I can only seem to go about an inch and a half into this flashlight before my fat gets in the way and the smallness of my penis defeats the purpose. The incredible depression of the experience makes it hard for me to stay erect as the whole time I am thinking about what a deformed, out of shape loser I am. So I end up only half hard or less. Today is my 34th birthday. I have never had a girlfriend in my life. Due to being a shy fat ass with an ugly skin condition that I was afraid of having anyone see by taking my clothes off. I'm so incredibly fucking lonely and depressed. I just want to be able to hug a woman. To hold her in my arms. Sex is frankly secondary to me. Which is lucky given that I haven't had any except with my own hand. I bought this thing thinking I would treat myself and make myself happier, but... It has just driven home how fucked I am. I guess my only hope at this point is to find a woman who doesn't mind me only using oral sex on her because my penis obviously doesn't work very well. Wow. Okay. I'm so sorry, brother. That's unfortunate. I hope he makes it. I hope he makes it, though. Rap sniff. Wait. Oh yes, my dear. Quite pungent indeed. Is that? There I say. Is 
not a drop of nugget I see on the rim. Hmm, let me, let me just have a little taste before I sniff, my darling. Hmm, hmm, yes, that is a delicate bit of chocolate, my dear. Ah, yes, let me guess, curry for dinner? Oh, quite right I am, aren't I? Okay, time for... Hmm, hmm, I see, yes, yes, I need as well as the curry. Hmm, that fragrance is quite noticeable. Yes, onion and garlic chutney, I take it, my dear? Hmm, yes, quite. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting that. That little gust, my dear. You caught me off guard, yes. So gentle it was, though. Mm. Let me taste this little one. Just one small sniff. <laughs> ah. And yet, so strong. Yes, the odor. Hmm, is that? Hmm, I can almost taste it in my beer. Yes, just a little bit more, if you please. Ah, yes, I have it now. Yes, quite mm, delectable, my dear. Quite exquisite, yes, I dare say. The most pungent one yet, my dear. Dollars never did this again. <laughs> Rubber Soldier, thank you for the five dollars. Pippa, please say sniff for me and my homies. John Garrison, thank you for the five dollars. I knew I'd feel dirty watching ASMR. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> five years in? <laughs> I need five more. It seems you might need five more. You, you might need five more. Alrighty. This one also looks like it's cursed. Let's uh, let's dive right in, chat. I think there was an issue recording the last few minutes. <laughs> Archive, bro, you can't run. You can't back out now, Archive, bro. I'm fucking tired of my Yoshi ignoring my social media and chats. I'm one of our oldest, biggest supporters. I've given her as much as a fan can give. Just because she doesn't lose even a fraction of what I lose if I disappear doesn't make it right. She went from often reading what I say and enjoying it to pretending I'm not even there. And I have no idea why. She even reads my supers with more indifference than others. I'm certain I kept my autism held in around her. I wanna fuck bitch so bad. I want to suck on her lips like cup noodles. I want to eat every meal of my life off her fat ass. I want to quit my job and fuck every single night. I want to fuck, 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 face so bad. Please, God, fuck. I want to blast endless burst into her little rat woman. Please, please, I like a donut with my cup. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I wanna boom boom fuck her rat butt. I wanna taste every inch of her body. Oh my fucking god! Please, I wanna fuck Faye. I wanna fuck Faye. Please, please, please. And I will never come anywhere else but her rat pussy. Please, please. Oh my god, I'm so horny when I see Faye. I kissed it. I wanna fuck Faye. I won't come anything but Faye. Hit me. Fuck Faye. I'm so horny for rat ass. Oh my god. Please, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh my fucking god, imagine being. <laughs> Feeling her fat butt and thighs bouncing against your pelvis, I would be stringing cum, shooting fat loads every time I felt her against me. Iris is living in my attic. She whispers to me every day, but I can't see her. She is siphoning my hope, a slight dream, leaving me to feel only despair. She has made me dependent on her streams to feel any joy. It's a bitch's fault my life is so miserable. I love her so much. But you get out of my head! Don Garrison, thank you for the five dollars. Give this to Archive, bro. Nep Nep, thank you for the 389 on Reddit. <laughs> 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 
Is there anyone in Pippa's fan base that isn't some kind of weird pervert? Mmm. I don't know about that one, Chief. Also, I guess I can put myself back here again. Alrighty. Here's another one. Mom Brother X, don't lie to them. Lattes, don't lie to them. What did I just listen to? Hmm. How to treat your woman? One. When she asks how she looks, shrug and say, could be better. This will keep her on her toes, and girls love that. Two, if you're listening to music and she asks to hear it, tell her no. This way she'll think you're mysterious. Three, take her to a party. When you get there, she'll have to go to the bathroom. They always do. Leave immediately. Come back right when the party is dying and yell at her the whole way home for ditching you all night. 4. Call her in the middle of the night to ask if she's sleeping. If she is, you say, you better be. Repeat this 4 or 5 times until morning. This will show you, will show her you care. 5. When she is upset about something, suggest to her that it might be her fault. This will pave the way for her own personal improvement, and every girl needs some improvement. 6. Recognize the small things, as they usually mean the most. Then, when she's sleeping, steal all of her small things and break them, because jewelry is for wishy wussies and ladies. 7. If you're talking to another girl, make sure she's looking. When she is, stare into her eyes, mouth the words, fuck you, and grab the other girl's ass. Girls love competition. 8. Tell her you're taking her out to dinner. Drive for miles so she thinks it's going to be really special, then take her to a burning tire yard. When she starts to get upset, tell her you were just kidding and now you're really going to take her to dinner. Then, drive home. When she starts crying and asks why you would do something like that, lean over and whisper very quietly into her ear. Because I can. 9. Introduce her to your friends as some chick. Women love those special nicknames. And if you care about her, never, ever tell her. This will only give her self-confidence. Then, you can never turn to her. Turn her into the object she deep down desires to be. Oh damn. That's a Sigma Grinds at Jan. Is this all true, Pippa? I don't know. I'm not good at picking up women. Tumblr fan base aside, why does this board hate Sherlock so much? Because it has smartly written character or smart characters written stupidly. Anton Chigurh from No Country for Old Men is a smartly written smart character. When Chigurh kills a hotel room full of three people, when he sees the room next door, so he can examine it. Oh, when Chigurh kills a hotel room full of three people, he books the room next door so he can examine it. Finding which walls he can shoot through, where the light switch is, what sort of cover is there, etc. This is a smart thing to do, because Chigger is a smart person who was written by another smart person who understands how smart people think. Were Sherlock Holmes to kill a hotel room full of three people, he'd enter using a secret door in the hotel that he read about in a book ten years ago. He'd throw peanuts at one guy, causing him to go into anaphylactic shock, as he had deduced from a dartboard with a picture of George Washington Carver on it pinned on the wall that the man had a severe peanut allergy. The second man would then kill himself just according to plan, as Sherlock had earlier deduced that him and the first man were homosexual lovers who couldn't live without each other due to a faint scent of penis on each man's breath, and a slight dilation of their pupils whenever they looked at each other. As for the third man, why Sherlock doesn't kill him at all? The third man removes his sunglasses and wicked reveal he actually was Sherlock the entire time! But Sherlock just entered through the secret door and killed the people. How can there be two of them? The first Sherlock removes his mask to reveal he's actually Moriarty, attempting to frame Sherlock for two murders. Sherlock, however, anticipated this. The two dead men stand up. They're undercover police officers. It was all around. But Sherlock, Moriarty cries, that police officer blew off his own head. Look at it, there's skull fragments on the wall. How was he fine now? How did you fake that? Sherlock just winks at the screen. The end. This is retarded because Sherlock is a smart person written by a stupid person to whom smart people are indistinguishable from wizards. What a twist. <laughs> okay then. Anon, thank you for the two dollars. Is it true you and Jim Medicare are getting married in June? No, it is not. Jim has a wife. Uh, 
let's see what else there is on here. about them, and I mean it. Let's go through the evidence. Where are they from? Not a single country in the world is named Britain. Some people say they come from England, and England is inside Britain, but if that was the case, they would be British. They would be Englanders. Also, heard some silly theories about them coming from whales. Guys, no. Whale people do not exist. Whales live in the sea. There is a consensus on British people coming from Europe, but then we are left with a whole continent of possible locations. That's as good as nothing. What do they eat? Every country has at least one main dish. Even the US has their burgers. But these British people, what do they eat? I heard some people associating them with tea, but everyone knows that's an Asian thing. Shouldn't they come from Europe? One of these two points must be wrong. Then, to me, it looks sketchy. What language do they speak? I challenge you. Putting all my money and my ass on the line here to find a supposed British person speaking their native language. Most of them just spoke a broken English. Yeah, English. Really suspicious, huh? And I even tried to look deeper into it. Maybe British just sounds like English, just like Spanish so could sound like Portuguese for a non-speaker. So I looked up British Dictionary on Google, and what I found was shocking. Every word in there was American. I kid you not. What this could mean is beyond my capabilities, but I can safely assure you that British people do not exist. Okay then. That reads like something from Tumblr. You will never have dental care. You will have no flaws. And have no toothpaste. You have no mouthwash. You're an unhygienic man, twisted by tea and crumpets into a crude mockery of nature's perfection. All the tally-hos you get are two-faced and half-hearted. Behind your back, people mock you. Your lads are disgusted and ashamed of you. Your mates laugh at your ghoulish smile behind closed doors. Dentists are utterly repulsed by you. Thousands of years of medical science have allowed doctors to clean teeth with incredible efficiency. Even Englishmen who brush their teeth look uncanny and unnatural to a dentist. Your rotting gums are a dead giveaway. And even if you manage to make an appointment with a dentist, he'll turn tail and bolt the second he gets a whiff of your diseased, infected maw. You will never be able to chew solid food. You will wrench out a few meager strokes of the toothbrush at the top of the morning and tell yourself it's going to be okay. But deep inside, you feel the halitosis creeping up like a weed, ready to crush you under the unbearable weight. Eventually, it'll be too much to bear. You'll buy a rope, tie a noose, put it around your neck, buy a suicide license, and plunge into the cold abyss. Your queen will find you, heartbroken but relieved that she no longer has to live with the unbearable stench. They'll bury you without your dentures. And every passerby for the rest of eternity will know an Englishman is buried there. Your remaining teeth will decay and go back into dust, and all that will remain of your toiletries is a toothbrush that was never opened. This is your fate. This is what nature intended. Cheers. Do you have to get a license to suicide yourself in, in England? Well, that makes sense. I'm getting a lot of copy pastas about suicide. Holy shit. Holy shit. Alrighty, what, what's this one? Ooh. Ooh, hold on. Ooh, hold on. This one, this one. This time I think about $10. How long were you a neckbeard, Pippa? I'm sorry, I had to ask nothing personal. Oh, rabbit. Happy B-Day, Pipkin Pippa. Unless it is, it's not my birthday. I'll take it for the $10. Thank you for the $10. Just iron. Attention, no grounders. Fact. 
Newgrounds was funny when we were all 12, living in the suburbs, listening to Lincoln Park, watching Dragon Ball Z, drinking Pepsi while playing Halo Co-op on the easiest setting, during which we consumed Doritos and looking at pink pumpkins on eBay, and internet explore, connected through AOL on a 56k modem before hopping into our balding father's latest midlife crisis impulse sponsored Japanese built SUV to head to the mall and get more skateboarding shoes and third weight, a regular Levi's, and a mountain bike park before heading home, voting Democrat and masturbating to the latest Sears catalog while huffing paint in your garage, before talking to pedophiles and aim, I, a, I, I, aim, pretending to be whatever cam whore they're ranting about on my space with a matrix quote anime character name, triple six asterisk parentheses surrounded screen name before heading there as a at good school. In the morning to buy more pot to smoke during your Counter-Strike LAN party with Jimmy and the rest of his friends, taking a Ritalin and Adderall and Prozac eight times a day before taking a casual pass at a local, state, or national governmental figures, legislator, or structure to appear edgy and intelligent in front of your Budweiser sneaking lip-wristed near to Columbine sociopathic deep friends who play the victim when they start losing arguments six days before their botched suicide attempt simply because school tramp number 12 wouldn't go under the bleachers with them to let them get to second base before their 13th birthday. Nice. Okay. Naruto is a gateway anime of the worst kind. It's a bad series, a clusterfuck of story and characterization that isn't very well done in any aspect, but which attempts to compensate for its weaknesses by adding in excessive shipping, blank, and darkness. The normal Anon can see this as the shit it is, and may enjoy it, hate it, or be indifferent to it, but all the while recognizing that the series itself, regardless of their opinion, is plain bad. However, these very aspects that try to smear over the shit of its core make it a breeding ground for, blank, unsociable, underage, and blank, who engage in every kind of blank both online and in the real world. The super-powered characters all try their hardest to look cool. The jutsu's peculiar world, the super-powered characters, wait. The peculiar colorful clothes, the whole ninja blink, and everything about the Naruto world fuels their deepest fantasies. While the pity party character backgrounds emphasis on revenge and overall preachiness of the series makes it fit just right with the merry sewage drives of your average preteen and his sense of unwarranted self-importance to the world. Exactly the kind of shit that makes little kitties an underage blink eat this shit right the fuck up. Naruto is basically THE series to attract the most hated anime fanbase known to A, which is why, regardless of individual opinions, it is the responsibility of every anon to troll the fuck out of the show and everyone who likes it, and ensure that no Naruto threads ever encourage the new friends to show their faces here. Alrighty. I am not reading the one about cummies that has a lot of emojis. You sure, Pippa? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And I'll thank you for the one. Sorry, I didn't realize the wedding already passed. Oh, well, thank you for the one dollar. I was once drunk and horny out of my mind, and I hired one of those girls who claim they can give you JOI live over voice in exchange for cash. The one I hired specifically said she had voice training and could replicate different character voices pretty well. And in my shameless, alcohol-induced state, I asked her if she could recreate Aqua's poor attempts at English. I remember there being a good 20 minutes of silence as I very quickly sobered up and felt like I was a fucking idiot for even suggesting this and going this far. But she got back to me right before I was about to cancel after I thoroughly dropped my Pipkin spaghetti all over the ground. I got the call and my heart was slumping out of my chest in a mix of shame and anticipation. After a few call- or after- Oh god. After a few moments of silence came the most spot-on, strained, half-confused English greeting. I froze and my body betrayed me. A wet slurp followed. She was not in fact laughing at me behind my back. To my knowledge, I firmly believe she was. But instead, getting points of reference for Aqua's personality and talking style. She fucking nailed it. The next 20 minutes was filled with the perfect Aqua style, slow, awkward English. 
as if she was struggling to find the right words to tell me what to do, and if she was also struggling to understand what a goddamn penis was, asking me if it felt good combined with the occasional slurp. It was the hardest but most shameful cup of my fucking life. I'm so fucking sorry for what I've done. Heaven's gates are close to me. Oh, this one's about Pomo. Hold on. Slurp. I should have, I should have, instead of saying slurp, I should have... <laughs> okay, so there, there's characters in this. Well, Jerry. So how much money did you send her, George? I sent a yellow, Jerry. A yellow. A yellow. A yellow super chat, Jerry. Ten dollars. And she didn't read it. Not a word? Not a zip. And this is one of those VTubers you watch, right? And her name is Pomo, Jerry. Well, George, you can't expect Pomo to read all your messages, can you? It's a transaction, Jerry. I give her money, and in exchange, she reads my message out loud on the stream. I can't say I get it, but... It's a matter of principle. It's about the, uh, the, uh... The give and take! Exactly. The give and take. Oh, and here's Elaine. Maybe she just didn't see it! No, no, no. I know she saw it. Cause she read out some other schmuck's comment that got posted right after mine. Maybe your super chat got swallowed up by the spam filter. That can't be it. I was watching her on stream chat and I saw my yellow show up. Clear as day. Seems a little forward to see all that money rolling in on screen, isn't it? Beat. Hey, did this red guy just donated $250? That's K-Man, one of her regulars. She never misses one of his Akasupas. Akasupas? It's the red super chats. Those are over $100 each. You don't say! Kramer bursts through the door, wearing a bathrobe and holding two pen lights. He shouts, Hey, can I bump some cash off on you? My bank just called, they're shitting down my card. Play ending sting. Chat is a Seinfeld. Serendipitous thing with the $5, literally 1984. <laughs> I'm Pomo. I, I, yeah, okay. Is, um, is... What was his name? Is K-Man, is K-Man, like, the Liger? Is, is, is K-Man Pomo's Liger? I'm Pomo. Pomo reads normal comments all the time? No idea, I haven't watched Pomo in forever. It's like K-Man was Kramer. Oh, is it not a real person? Oh, okay. I thought it was a- I thought it was like a regular person. Alrighty. It has to be Kramer? Alright, that makes more sense. Many of these seemingly innocent comedy anime have absolutely horrifying why don't they all just kill themselves nightmare scenarios as their basic setups. Like Rose and Maiden, and it's super-powered parasite dolls that are free to abuse their helpless owners any which way they want. But Harui takes the cake. Just think about it, the characters and the reality they live in are permanently subject to the brain damage ADD ridden winds of the female equivalent of Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes. Even death won't save them. Haruhi is a fucking Lovecraftian horror story, a thing that should not be, and it baffles me how they try to play it as a comedy. Haruhi can erase and rewrite history just by changing her mind. Basically, nothing other than her matters in the slightest. If anything, the fact that she doesn't know it herself only makes it worse. If she did know, she might at least make an effort to not change things willy-nilly. She's like Azathoth, omnipotent and insane, only she's right here, right now. In Instead of at the other end of the universe. I'm fairly sure the only reason all the characters who know about her don't go insane of the sheer horror of how everything that exists and has ever existed is the plaything of a dumb shit high schooler with the responsibility of Patrick Bateman and the attention span of a nap is because she doesn't think they should go insane. This is unironically true when they touch on it in the novels. Weren't the novels like never finished? Didn't the Haruhi Suzumiya novels never actually- ah, Never actually, uh... Pippa is our Haruhi in this world, oh man. Oh man. Still ongoing, yeah. Haruhi is basically Azathoth, an anime girl 
form. I can't get anything for the 125 Pokey dollars. I started again. New novels have been released recently. Oh. It's 11 p.m. babe. Time for an endless late viewing. That was so dumb. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? I understand your frustrations with the Face Connect community, and in fact, I also have a confession to make. I become deeply upset when people hear posts or even just allude to GC pornography. Face Connect has become a major part of my life. It has helped me through difficult times, has shaped my life philosophy, and has done far more for me than other people ever have. I view the characters not as friends or family we have after all never met, but instead almost as a part of me. Thus to see them reduced to mere objects to serve your bodily lust is nothing short of a travesty. I am not usually responsible and good at empathy, but such an act simply stirs my emotions too much for me to be able to live and let live, or anything similar. The best I can do is ignore it, and that isn't much of a solution, especially when it is waved in front of my face by fellow posters here. I hate that I am posting this because I know that, well, the people reading this who have sexualized Pippa may feel this unnecessary guilt for my sake. Well, an open message to anyone reading this, if you care even the sl even slightly about my plight, please, I beg of you, don't post anything here related to face connect pornography and don't encourage or respond to others who do. I have no doubt there are plenty of other places on the internet far from the eyes of over sensitive fools such as myself. Okay. What the fuck is this? Oh. Oh my god, you guys, you guys sent in some really fucking cursed one. Oh my god. You guys, you guys sent in some cursed shit. Hold on, let me let me hold my nose while I read this one. I'm a big fan of this funny rabbit. Thank you, Finger Guns McGee, for the ten dollars. I'm just reading stuff off. I don't know how people are entertained by this, but I'm glad. Oh no, Pomo was now gonna go to the Laugh Factory. Thank you, Acid Yoru, for the five dollars. As a thought, think of it as sixty-nine cents. My snout grazes over your moistened diaper. Your cries of ecstasy motivate me to continue on. The whiskers twitching with it. Cool excitement, I open my mouth, ever so slowly and bite a thicker part of your diaper. The crinkling noises of my things lightly pushing up and down on the material drives me wild. And my erection getting impossibly larger, where you finally go silent and all either of us can hear is panting. I rip your diaper off, now you're exposed. I push and all either of us can hear is panting. I rip your diaper off, now you're exposed. Wait, I put... You're exposed. I push back my furred foreskin and put the tip into your pulsing anus. When I thrust it, you yip and your tail stiffens. Your asshole is nearly too tight, but like elastic, it stretches open to welcome my ever-growing member. I smile at this. I fuck you for almost an hour like this. You pissing all over me the entire time. I finally feel myself begin to come slowly down and holding you there. My dog seems to stretch in the walls of your asshole. And I can't stop moaning in my orgasmic fit of pleasure. <laughs> my tail twitches. <laughs> Why are you holding the nose to add to it? To add to it. Sorry, hold on. In my orgasmic fit of pleasure, my tail twitches and the feces are coming out of me. I realize this about six seconds later, but it's too late. Halfway out now, the thick slog of shit plops below me onto the couch. I relieve the rest of, the pr of my pressure with a wet sulfuric fart. Your eyes roll to the back of your head. I pull out of you and on you is a mix of sweat, semen, and shit. You are beautiful, Pippa Love. Why did you have to add the Pippa Love part? Why? Why did you have to add the Pippa Love part to the end? Why would you do that? <laughs> what the fuck do you mean, Pippa Love? If Pippa Love, why did you send me that? Pippa Love, why did you send me that? Alrighty. 
Oops. Censor whatever you need to or just read the raw script. Hey guys, did you know that in terms of male and human... Male, human, and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporeon is the most compatible Pokemon for humans? Not only are they in the field egg group, which is mostly comprised of mammals, Vaporeon are an average of 3 feet 3 inches tall and 63.9 pounds. This means they're large enough to be able to handle human dicks, and with their impressive base stats for HP and access to acid armor, you can be rough with one. Due to their mostly water-based biology, there's no doubt in my mind that an aroused Vaporeon would be incredibly wet. So wet that you could easily have sex with one for hours without getting sore. They can also learn the moves Attract, Baby Doll Eyes, Captivate, Charm without getting sore. Wait. And Tail Whip. Along with not having fur to hide nipples, so it'd be incredibly easy for one to get you in the mood. With their abilities Water Absorb and Hydration, they can easily recover from fatigue with enough water. No other Pokemon comes close to this level of compatibility. Also, fun fact, if you pull out enough, you can make your Vaporeon turn white. A Vaporeon is literally built for human dick. Ungodly defense that. Plus high HP pool, plus acid armor means it can take cock all day, all shapes and sizes, and still come for more. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Chat. Alright, Fishman, you can say something now? I think Fishman ran away. I think, I think Fishman... ...fucking dipped. For me, it's the local Olive Garden. Packed into the family car with dad driving and mom resting in the passenger seat. The kids anxiously kicking around the back. There is a powerful bonding on the way to that Italian eatery. The whole family uniting in a singular quest. Tonight, we dine. Pulling into the enormous parking lot, the atmosphere begs to be absorbed. A Macy's Mall in the background and a red lobster across the street. All this, of course, is framed by the beacon that is Olive Garden Restaurant itself. A community staple in fine dining. A plump line has already begun winding out the door. Groups of five each huddled around their remote buzzer. Occasionally a cry will go out as a vibration comes from the electronic device. A scream of joy. That family has been chosen. They cry tears of gratitude as a virginal waitress brings them swiftly into the eatery. Passing only the finest arts from the Mediterranean. Frescoes and bottles of wine from local vineyards. Sinatra sing songs softly over the built-in speakers. Large tables enjoying only the most quality pastas and salads. <laughs> Taking a seat, a calm washes over everyone in the group. This is just so right. So perfectly correct. It's as if they have been transported to Naples as they push their chairs up to the table. Orgasmic. Oh my god. Alright. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, another face connect one. Another face connect one, Jack. <laughs> I've never had that good of a time at Olive Garden. No, nor have I. The fuck did I just listen to? <laughs> Very good question. And my friend part two, thank you for fun noise. This stream made the tempo. Romandibular joined my jaw walk up so hard I hurt my neck. Thanks, Pepe. You're welcome. Home now. Hello, everyone. Hello, home. I'm Dad. Took a nap. Had a dream. Sakuna hired me to be the Face Connect butler. I would go from house to house and let in, be let in to work. It was a relaxing job. Just doing laundry, prepping meals, and doing various minor chores. Talk to Pippa about concealed carry permits while doing her dishes. Lumi would just give me a list before she would sprint off in a hurry to do her shit. Orica came downstairs while I mopped, began giggling to herself, and then sat down at the dinner table and began to gently snore. Tenma would randomly grab my stomach and go, hmm, until I flexed it and she would leave in some sort of business suit. Leah and Yuri would try and stop me from cleaning and do it themselves very quickly with visible anxiety. I could barely understand any of the JP girls, not because of the language, but because a YouTube video of Iori in the background was waking me up. I'm becoming weird. I used to dream about sex with red-headed girls. Tenma would randomly grab my stomach and go home until I flexed it, then she would leave in some sort of business suit. What do you mean sexual harassment, huh? Eh? 
come here in my house oh you think i let in flabby man how i trust if fat you think i let softly freak near pippa chan do you what what alphonse thank you for the 222 great stream pepsi make bible study fun i'm glad all right do the 10 more voice I can't do the demo voice in a PSMR. Wonder Magic I'll think of the $5. This was fun, PPP. PS, when are you selling bathwater? And will one with extra P cost more? Mm. Hmm. Might might make more money just selling the P directly. Hmm. I want the mommy. 411. Submissive tomboy with giant breasts that's also a demon that crushed me using a hundred thousand square cubic tons of pure metal lead until I can't feel my legs. After I'm paralyzed for life, she'll drag me and feed me and help me pee and I won't be able to say a word and then she'll whisper, Who's been a good boy? in that sexy fucking voice and I'll get a giant massive throbbing headache and my head will hurt so bad I will shit myself and she'll have to clean it and then I'll fucking cry because I'm paralyzed and then the cancer foundation will come and my wish of being on TV will come true while I'm on TV I'll just be like Stephen Hawking in a goofy ass chair with a serial robotic voice and say exterminated out the Voice, and then we'll get up and clap and I'll shoot the producer with a Jericho 9mm in my right pocket. Plot twist, I was never paralyzed, I was only pretending. Then I'll go out and burn the studio like the Jomer from the 1080 movie, the Jomer. I'll take my mommy girlfriend and break her legs and take her on my Ferrari branded Ferrari horse as we ride into the sunset. And she fucking cries of pain because she has no legs now. We had lots of sex. That's what I want in real life. Can anyone help? <laughs> Okay then. Okay then. People <laughs> 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 having a mental breakdown. I'm reading stuff. How do people come up with this stuff? I don't know. These <laughs> coffee bosses are wild. So as a joke, I went to my friend's house wearing Pippa's wig and clothes. I could barely stop my laughter as he went red as a tomato and looked at me from head to toe with a bit of drool in his mouth. The way he stared made me feel a bit funny too, but I decided to tease him more by taking off my clothes. He asked, are you serious? And I said, beep, 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 beep. He went by, he went silent for what seemed like forever. So I asked him, what's the matter, bro? He said he's confused, but then his boner got really hard, which made me take off his clothes. I expected him to scream, stop, as I kissed him and stroked his papinus, but instead he shouted, oh god, Peppa, which made me get a boner myself. Before I knew it, I was blowing him for the first time till he came. His glue was so thick, it got stuck inside my throat no matter how hard I swallowed. He then said, I want to love you now, and seeing that we've already gone that far and we were both naked, I obliged. A few hours later, the jerk went all pale and said to me, Why did we do that? No, I'm not fucking straight! But he would still look so cute, all confused like that, so I took pity on him and reassured while wiping his glue off my face, Let's just pretend I'm still Peppa. What's the nigga Fox? Thank you for the $2. I'll never forget the stream or chat. Chat love. Girl, come away, thank you for the $5. So are we all just gonna... <laughs> We're all just gonna forget the stream ever happened, right? Yeah. Yeah, the stream never happened. Okay. Is this you? Link to post. What post is it? I'm opening stuff up, Jack. Maybe don't archive this one. Maybe, maybe don't archive this one. <laughs> oh god, where did it go? It disappeared. What the fuck? I was literally just fucking reading it. Where the fuck did it go, Jack? Is this you? When is she gonna graduate? I feel like the constant harassment is getting to her. She even took a day off. All of her latest streams suck and are in low energy. She does Maybe I shouldn't read this one. Maybe I shouldn't read this one. Mana. It's a long skit to post. 
User was banned for replying to himself about 30 times. Yeah, that one's, that one's funny, yeah. There's like 50 of these, so it's like, so I went to my friend's house wearing a uniform. Um... Okay. Hold on, chat. Yeah, it's the Kiara one. Once you've started reading this, you can't get out. Read on if you don't want to die. A year ago, a girl named Kathy was hated by everyone. Everyone made fun of her. She was ignored, even by messages. One day, she decided to kill herself. Becca, you was even her parents, ignored her. She jumped down the window. No one noticed until people started disappearing. Kathy haunted them. She made them suffer like the way she did. She hung them slowly and stabbed them over and over and very slowly so they could suffer like she did. If you don't send this message to 15 different comments, you will die denied by Kathy because she considers it ignoring her. Example 1, Dave Steve... Looked at his first sentence and said spam, and the next day the neighbors found him in his yard dead. Example 2, Joanne was alone. She didn't have any kids or a husband. She had a lot of friends. When she had to sleep over with them, she quickly had to check her email. She saw this message and sent it to only six people because she thought she couldn't die that night because she was around by people. The next morning, Joanne's friends found her in the bathtub dead. If you don't send this, Kathy will find you. Okay. Alright. We're gonna end off with one about reading gasoline. Or not reading, uh, drinking. I think it's about drinking gasoline. Maybe not. Maybe it's about taking gasoline up the ass. I don't know. Check my chat for karaoke suggestion. Okay. My first time at the gas station. I pulled into the gas station just as my car gave a final gulp of breath while shutting off from thirst. I gave a small smirk as I reached into my pocket and fingered the $20 bill crumpled there. I knew this would be a very enjoyable stop. Next to the pump, I slowly undo the latch on my car, letting out a damp puff of air as the lid opens, revealing the dark, wet hole to the engine. My hand goes for the pump, ripping it forcefully from the stand, jerking the handle ever so hungrily. Slowly, ever so slowly, I slide the nozzle into the gas tank, the grimy sound of metal rubbing against the metal filling my ears. I constricted my grip around the handle, a little cough of gears churning inside the pump, and I feel the gas start to come. Yellowish clear liquid with a very potent stitch flows through the pump's tube and gushes into my tank. The car sort of settles into place as the liquid slowly fills its tank. And just as it really started to begin, it ends. I pull out the nozzle, fresh juice still dripping from the end. The hatch to the tank slides close ever so smooth. And I pay the $60. I can't wait until next time. He's got the olive garden next! Alright, chat. Yeah. That was interesting. Delete this VOD from your memory. Is this Cars fanfiction? I don't know. Very good ASMR, yeah. Very good ASMR. This was not really ASMR. This stream is a gift. This is the only stream to ever be like this ever again. already a joke stream, so... Alrighty, chat. Alrighty. Tonight's been magical, chat. Tonight's been magical. Oh, I guess I should leave this blank. Well, let's go back to the other one. I'm gonna read off names, chat. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Oh my fucking god, it's frozen. Holy shit, hold on. Fucking frozen. Oh my god, I fucking broke it. Holy shit, hold on. Why are there 400 people here? Jesus fucking Christ. It was just a joke, bro. I was only pretending. Uh, feel free to type in chat. I'm gonna read off the participants list. I'm gonna, I guess, try recording some videos to figure out the
the ASMR mic thing because on my end, I swear to God, chat, I sat there testing it. I balanced all the fucking audio levels. I was listening to it through my headphones and I could hear myself clearly. I could hear myself clearly, so I'm gonna have to fuck around and find out. That's a cringe. That's a cringe. Yep, shut the fuck up. Cutting in, Katori, Asset Yoru, Actual Prisoner, Aegis, Alphonse, Maltoro, Leon, Anana the Destroyer, Anime Document, Anime is Not Cool, Inertion, Archive Bro, A Real Baboon, Aerate, Ascended Weep, Atomic's Dimension, Also Ru, A Lamel, Asset Bob, Hazel, Background Noise, Beberoni, Pizza, Berserk, Range, Big Fuzzy Head, Big Guy, Billy Witch Doctor, Bingo Panic, Biohazard Xer, Battle Brother, That's where it's from. Black, Number One. BL4, Gana Tata, Captain Sura, Gajento Amos, Charlie, Church Gina, Cypher, Conferry Cupboard Snake, Golf Dweller, Crab Supremacy Advocate, Crazy Sub, D19, Dance Grub, The Royal Crab, Dark Soup, Dead Mac Gaming, The Nine, The Slores, Devil Headman, Diet Water, Dingy Chinfu, Dontrell, Dusk Flames, Ibar, Endwar, Eric Jimenez, Eric Rowdy, Phantorox, Etsy Playthroughs, Fourth Gore, Full Lou, Freeze, Gabriel Navarro, General Ripper, GKLR, Glass, Goblin Slayer, Condola, Google Plus, X Balls, Grand, Grand, Guidas, Hikimoto, uh, Heezy Long, I Love Again, Akari Henry, Isolated Rapid, General Shot, Jackass, Jacob, James, James Jameson, Jefferson Oliveira, JJJ, Joseph Ted, Joe Schmo, John Garrison, JP, Juan K. Gonzalez, Juicy Wampa, Just Iron, Kagami Noir, Can't Respecter, Kawa Chun Chun, Colonel, Kyle, King Swagus, Kizna Hentai, Nai, Kohi, Koi, Krampus, Case the Real, Curly Kitty Cat, Curl Kamui, Cal Cosmo the Oppressed, Lancer, Lauren Bunny, Lane, Ladas, Limo, Leonardo, Uloa, Lethal P, Lucos, Logan, Low Speed, Mad, C, DJ, Man Wars, Marcus Vinicus, Mask of Seven Eyes 2, uh, Master of Noobs, Mateza, McNeem, McEl, McCannis, Golden Gear, Melty, Mer, Maxiva, Mezzum, Mr. Chewy, Mr. Yura, Mitchell Painter, mm, Zero, Monkey Jr., Moon Berserker, Mortis Akuli, Mr. Mannequin, Mr. Kaga, Moon Bethrax, Monkey, and the three, Nesco, No Fee, Ninja Tanuki, No Name, No Accounting for Taste, Not One of Us, Odwin, Ozone, Pesatory, Pastry, Panergy, Pelbo, Pharaoh Shuffle, Pill Age, Pine, Pippa Clippa, Pippa's Uneaten Vegetables, Pump Pump, Pres Madagascar, Raptor's Trash, Razmaz, Red, Red Grizz, Red Moon Moomer, Rexarada, Ricardo, Rice Boy, Ragnar, Rudica, Rushdi, Snyakovert, uh, Rhydian, Salamandra, Sam, Scale Stepper, Sebastian Cerez, Sebastian Anna, Sue and Q, Sean Thompson, Sigma, Sigma Zero, Skike, Snark in the Water, Snuggly Snake, Solve for X, Some Polygon, Summa Man, Sonic Chicker, Zomot Senior, Spanner, Sparks, Sparky, Spoiled Dragon, Stephen Freddy, Strawberry Pebble, Sun Bros, Southwest, Mr. Plow, Tim Moore Specter, Dow Twist, T Dubs, T Baggins, Temple, Theta Guy, that video game failed, the Justin One, the meds are kicking in, the Cyber Police, the Shaved Yeti, Skin and Kashi, Tarbo, Zoyne Speaks, U511, Uncle Venus, Unintentionally Dramatic, Erst, Vash, Vizla, Weapon, Aristocrat, Wicked Power, Wills, Windsor, Winchuck, Wiley, Van, Xenohort's Blade, Zenmar, Zencro, XYZ, Y2N, Yahtzee, your friend Zach, Zeta's Purple, Jeffrey's name, I can't understand, Blink! Background noise, you know, $2, don't worry, we all had a good scary time anyway. Good scary time, what? Thank you guys for stopping by, I really appreciate it. Things are, things are, things have been changing, chat. Things have been changing. I'm trying to get used to... I'm not, I'm not used to having, like, dedicated schizos, I guess, you know? I'm used to, like... Like, having aunties and passing and stuff, but lately I've had, like, so many fucking schizos, so I'm glad we can still have good times and stuff, chat. I'm glad we can still have good times. I appreciate you guys. And, uh... Yeah, I guess Pippa and Klein real. You mean negative- yeah, negative schizos. Like, like n bad aunties. They're- they're good schizos, and then they're bad schizos. So, yeah. Thank you guys for stopping by, and, uh... Yeah. Um, where's my ending? I guess ending is right here. Goodbye, Jan. I guess I can just actually. Goodbye, Jan.
Holy shit, are we at the secret karaoke end screen? Oh my god. Is this the secret karaoke end screen? The secret karaoke end screen, holy shit! Holy shit! Da 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 da. Um. Hopefully this isn't too loud. House is volume down. Take it slowly. This book is dangerous. Ready? Knocks and box, fox and socks. Knocks on fox and socks and box. Socks on knocks and knocks and box. Box and socks on box on knocks. Chicks with bricks come, chicks with blocks come. Chicks with bricks and blocks and clocks come. Let's do tricks with bricks and blocks, sir. Let's do tricks with chicks and clocks, sir. First I'll make a quick trick brick stack. Then I'll make a quick trick block stack. You can make a quick trick chick stack. You can make a quick trick clock stack. And here's a new trick, Mr. Knox. Socks on chicks and chicks on fox. Fox on clocks on bricks and blocks. Bricks and blocks on knocks on box. Now we come to ticks and talks, sir. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, sir. Clocks on fox tick, clocks on fox talk. Six six bricks tick, six six chicks talk. Please, sir, I don't like this trick, sir. My tongue isn't quick or slick, sir. I get all those ticks and clocks, sir. Mixed up with the chicks and talks. I can't do it, Mr. Fox, sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Knox, sir. Here's an easy game to play. Here's an easy thing to say. New socks, two socks. Who socks? Sue socks. Who sues? Sue socks. Sue souls. Sue socks. Who sees? Who soul? Who's news? Socks, sir. That's not easy, Mr. Fox, sir. Who comes? Crow comes. Slow Joe. Crow comes. Who souls? Crow's clothes. Sue souls. Crow's clothes. Sue souls. Socks. A fox in socks now. Slow Joe. Crow souls. Knocks in box now. Knocks and box, fox and socks. Knocks on fox and socks and box. Socks on knocks and knocks and box. Fox and socks on box on knocks. Chicks with bricks come, chicks with blocks come. Chicks with bricks and blocks and clocks come. Let's do tricks with bricks and blocks, sir. Let's do tricks with chicks and clocks, sir. Holy fuck, I'm bad at this. <laughs>